Hey, Quatmo. Hey, SD Cowboy. Hey, James Crypto. Hey, Pajangalang. Hey, D20. Good morning. How are you all doing? Today, we will be playing a game called Outlast. I got this game last year, and we just never got around to playing it. But I hear it's good. Okay. Um, I think we're ready. Got the light on. I'm here. The game's on. The game's sound is on. I'm here. The door! I, f I remember the cape, at least. Hey, SD Cowboy! Happy Saturday! Good morning, everyone! It's been a solid 12 hours since the, um, horror. The pure horror that was Alone in the Dark 3. Um, we will be- Whoa! Wait, 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 whoa! Where you get these emotes? Oh, it's a better Twitch TV emoji. Okay, I thought someone else was capitalizing on the- <laughs> I was like, hey! <laughs> That's my turf! <laughs> jack o are my turf. Um, hey, Nina Mom, good morning. And get a game that really spooks fail, competitive Overwatch. I still haven't played it. Uh, cop fine, I only play Overwatch tonight, Saturday nights, and I, I am usually not paying very good attention to take it seriously. The webcam, I feel, I want to sit here, and the webcam wants me to sit here. And you know what it is? It's that Muffin has been slowly pushing all of my things to the left. That's what's actually happening. All of the stuff I own has slowly been moved to the left. What I don't want to do right now is... Actually, wait, that's that's perfect. I, I basically just fixed that. Okay, good. Good. So I just had a little, a little fit. <laughs> she pushes it, like we share, we have two desks side by side. She just shoves more stuff onto my side. And granted, it's mostly my stuff she's shoving, but still, I could use the space and she doesn't need it. Hello, good morning, Jaeger. Good morning, Force Mono. Good morning, Tristan. Um, I had a yogurt, and then about a half hour ago, I ate half a box of rigatoni. So that usually sustains me for a solid, you know, six to eight hours of streaming. Oh, I... Does this game have... Does this game have music? Are we hearing things? <laughs> Is this one of those games that has music? Now I'm gonna restart it. Best to play it safe. So yeah, I ate a lot of um... I ate a lot of- why is it in such a tiny window now? <laughs> okay, thank you. I ate a lot of pasta. Guess this doesn't have music at the start, whatever. Insane- no, 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 no. No, I have ruined so many casts by picking a difficulty that is not conducive to, um, being able to actually beat the game. Like, I don't want to have to reload. I'm gonna play on hard. I- I, I wish game, more games would tell you, like, on hard, this happens. On nightmare, this happens. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphics, sexual content. Whoa. We should have saved this for sexual... I was going to say sexual September, and it is September. <laughs> Hi, Lictoria. <laughs> Good morning, Doombacon. Good morning, Frostroom. I ate so much pasta this morning, it actually hurts. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Did, did Mr. Upshur know what he was getting himself into? <laughs> we should have saved it. I wanted to do the alliteration, and September's the only thing I could think of. Yeah. yeah. So, I've already ruined the game. So, I've already ruined the game. Why is there no music? Are you hearing music? Wait, everyone's hearing music except me. Is that what's happening? I... 
Oh, there's been, there's been, what the heck was going on? I, I couldn't hear it. I can hear it now. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Good start to the cast, Bagel. I can look. My car has a broken odometer. My Honda Civic has a broken odometer and it says it only has 3,000 miles on it and that's a lie. There's like 130,000 un unaccounted miles on my 2003 Honda Civic. My plan is to drive it so it seems like it has a lot of, like, like, like a, it seems like it has, you know, a non-suspiciously low amount of miles and then flip it for a profit. But um, they actually wrote the correct mileage on a piece of paper in my car, like the car's registration or something. So I don't know how I'm going to get out of that. Okay. Um, that, who did it? 1026011 at mutemail.com to milesupsher at gmail.com. Is that a real guy's email? Subject, tip. Illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems' facility in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Oh, I had to sell the Isuzu truck when I was in Texas. I haven't had the truck in forever since I left Texas. I've been driving Muffin's car for a while, but then I had to get my own car, so I have a Honda Civic. Sucks. I hate it. Terrible things happening there. It's actually pretty okay. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. There, take that file with me. Take the batteries. Just put that from one hand to the other. Get the camera. Oh, I don't want to play another camera only game. I have a 2003 Honda Civic Coupe. Well, this definitely looks spooky. Objectives are updated in your reporter's notebook, containing your notes and picked up documents. Investigate Mount Massive Asylum. Vague. Ooh, it's one of those games where you can see yourself. Mouse look is a little high. better. Still kind of high, though. <laughs> really low. <laughs> now it's too low. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's perfect. That's good. That's good. Okay. This game looks nice. Look how new this game is. We don't always play modern games here on Bagel Plays the Classics, I, for whatever reason. For whatever reason, Bagel Plays the Classics, we don't play many modern games. I don't know. Shift is run. To open a door quickly, press left mouse button. To open it slowly, hold down left mouse button. This is, this is the slow opening. To raise your cam camcorder, press right mouse button. Event recorded. Adding a note in your notebook. What? A stuck deal is sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than a lost signal. Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. How do I know when the camera... It is a wild way to start my day. I've been up since 6 a.m. So I, I, it's, I didn't just wake up. But yeah, it's like super early. 
<laughs> this game's kind of old. Looks new to me. <laughs> Whoa, we'll walk. <laughs> I'm used to the uh, uh, report from hell. Michigan report from hell. Okay. It's gonna be a hell of an investigative report. Okay, Bagel, just stop spazzing out here. The door is locked. <laughs> he just drives up and walks to the front door and tries to open it. Crouch. Yeah, I, I'm down for playing like seven hours of a horror game today. That'd be fun. With the camcorder active, you can zoom in and out with the mouse scroll. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I've already figured that out. I mean, you'd think that this door was locked. Okay. I think we'll do a log cast today. I like the log spooky September Saturday casts. You know, log for me. I know for some people, like, you know, I'm going to stream for 30 hours. I would die. It's a nice jump. What's my guy's name? I've already, I've, Upshaw or something? Log cast. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good game. To activate night vision on the camera, press F. Oh, wow. This is... Okay. Note that night vision uses battery. Ooh. Best to turn that off, then. Can I save? Ha um... How do you save? <laughs> She's at work. She's at work. She's at work. She works on Saturdays. It's fine. I can totally get away with this. He does not look like a demon when you put the camera up. Let it be known. Look at the lighting. Okay. It's a modern game. It auto saves. Ugh. I just, I feel like sometimes auto-saving makes games less scary. Ooh, I get it. Ooh. Wiggle. <laughs> I'm a friend. <laughs> All right, Daisy, right? Uh, the squeeze to move towards the gap. There's blood here. I'm gonna add that to my report real quick. Oh, battery. Batteries are used to, for the infrared light of your camcorder. You can reload it with R. Okay. Oh, don't. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just exploring. The Daisy days were good. I would like to stream Daisy again, but I don't know what uh, version of Daisy I'm supposed to play. Like the mod or the standalone or. The uh, one that's not called Daisy for Arma 3 or Rust. I don't know where the game has gone to. Collected documents, J, are updated in your reporter's notebook. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider. Oh, we're in Colorado. Patient's initials, WPH, Billy. He's a 19 year old Billy. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale, continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge <laughs> xylophone again failed to separate. I th okay, highly worrisome. MRI revealed a rhythmic REM-REM cycle. Laughter in REM state. 
Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against the Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. No, the only Traeger on company records one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security approved to include analytic biometrics. Yeah, no more big words, please. No more big words. Well, I, it was Outlast. Outlast was that game that was like super pretentious with all the words. Oh, bloody footprints. Why is my guy out of breath? Cola, drink it. Drink it! A dollar seventy-five for cola. I remember when cola used to be like a nickel. Look at that! Look at that! And that's my record. <laughs> oh, they, they really... Look how they use the blood to guide you. <laughs> Let's walk down the dead end first. Drink it! Uh, yeah, I've never played this server. Did you just say wall rider? Cola, drink it. Why is my guy breathing so heavily? And why at this point has he not left yet? Why was that the only door I didn't open cautiously? <laughs> I I get upset at jump scares. Ah! <laughs> like right now I would leave. Look, I don't want to waste my battery. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Oh, he's on. He's been impaled. Okay. So this is jump scare the game. Well, now I'm ready. Now I'm now I got my guard up. I'll be okay. Let me see if I can figure out this door. Why is my guy's like breathing freaking out? Well, I mean, I guess he just saw a guy die. The guy's having a bad day. Who's that? Oliver W. Baradiskeek, Assistant Director of Behavioral Medicines. Glide Perry. Glide Perry has two different colored eyes. One of his eyes is weird. Yeah, I don't know which way I'm going. Why is the game so dark? I am um, not happy about how I have to use the battery of this. A game where you had to m tell your character to breathe would suck. That would be a super not fun game. <laughs> Little fake. What? Oh! Oh, thank you. Tartarus! Thank you, Tartarus! Welcome to Outlaster Day. Jeez, 17 months. Thank you, Tartarus. And who are you, then? This guy's the villain. 
There are loads of batteries. Okay. I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. I'm just trying to see if this guy's got two weird eyes. Just to see if he was the assistant director or something. <laughs> just trying to piece together the lore. Did he take my camera? New objective, escape from the asylum. Access security control to unlock the main doors. Nope, I kept it. Okay. I would not I would not want to play breathing simulator. Oh, it's a battery. It's like a security guy or a cop. I know at some point I'm going to pull up the camera and I'm going to see something and it's going to scare me. What does it say? Proclaim the gospel? That's cool. I don't really understand what's going on in this game. Like, why is there, like, computers that are on? Like, did everything happen recently? Worried for seizure. Uh, F. Davis having been made the board directors. Morkov hard line security. Blah, blah, blah. Cash office security failure. A psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavit and testimony established sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS. And grounds for issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority of its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corporation or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances were required regardless of responsibility. I don't know what any of that meant. That's a guy. This way to the security room. Okay. How did they find this many people to kill? Like, why are there so many people who have been beheaded? Ooh, battery. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, Derver. <laughs> Witness! <laughs> I saw you. I saw you pooping. <laughs> I don't think that's probably what witness meant. And what's up with games and putting body parts in toilets? Is that a thing? That's been in several spooky games. I'm just looking for batteries. This door needs a key card. It's hip to beheaded. <laughs> Oh, documents. This is from Helen Gr Granat. Project Wall Rider on site inspection. Dear sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corporation. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make the lit any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal action vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing at as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. I think, um, 
they're creating, um... Did you ever watch that episode of uh, Jesse Ventura's Conspiracy Theory where um, uh, he believes that the government is making something called human Z's to uh, they were like super intelligent human monkey hybrids to uh, use in um, uh, military and uh, law enforcement? I assume that's the plot of this game. If And if you haven't... Why should we have to pay for it? I suggest you watch that episode. It's good. Why would you put a metal gate over the exit? That can't be like FDA compliant. FDA? Is that the right age? What is it when you got to make it so you can have like a, an egress in, in case of fire? Oh my god, no. It's the best show. You should watch it. You should really watch it. It makes you think. Did he force mono? That sounds right. I'm lost. I have I have somehow already gotten lost. <laughs> Did I miss I must have missed something over here. I mean all the doors are locked. I don't like the sound that thing makes. That high pitch sound, I don't like that. The phone is off the hook. Oh, what are those? Little bugs. I was checking to see if that guy had a key card on him. Uh, okay. When we went in here, there was just batteries. And we went in here, there was just dead guys on toilets. Like, I'm kind of... do. Oh, do I leave bloody... I do! I think for a few steps, I leave bloody footprints. Does the elevator work? <laughs> do it again. We can't do it again. Okay. That guy was still alive. He was screaming. Still locked. First model, are you making this up? That guy falling was pretty funny. I opened the trap door. <laughs> good job, Bagel. Now you won't get the good ending. Oh, can the spooky guys follow my bloody footprints? Is that an aspect of this game? Okay, um, this guy is 32 year old. His name is Walker. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm's. <laughs> Unsafe to progress unless stage three hormone schedule. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams. Walker has interviewed in restraints following his self inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experiments with two Tara lizards and their perishal eyes. Per parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seems to be retarding progression of ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Okay. To peak. Oh. Is this the guy? Well, he seems to be missing stuff around his face. Oh, weird. Why, 
am I not talking to these people? Like, wouldn't it be less awkward to say, like, hello? Like, what's going on? Hi. Security guard. <laughs> the guy's doing this heavy breathing while he like walks on the table for no reason. You hide the batteries? I'm worried they're gonna be mean to me when I go back through. My favorite is this guy. I like this guy. Oh, did I just write something? Broken men and dead television. I did! A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Broken men, broken TV. Why didn't my guy bring a gun? Let me get this on camera. He just wanted to touch. <laughs> oh, hey, Fladarian. Happy Saturday. And happy Saturday, everyone. If I haven't said hi and you came in. I was just being spooked at the moment. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> That's a sick screensaver, dude. <laughs> they are good for the touchy emote. That makes a lot of sense. If I was making a horror game, I'd make things that were formerly safe that you have to backtrack th through less safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This note that they're giving me right now makes me assume that it will be less safe. Okay. The breathing is kind of getting on my nerves. They lie. Just let me just start hacking here. Soma was a good game. I liked Soma. Who's that guy? Saving. New objective. Restart the generator in the ba Why is the generator in the basement? Oh, I just... I hid in the locker. Now, at this point, actually, a manual breathing minigame would be pretty sweet. Okay. Well, that went well. They have breathing in aliens. That's good. We'll play the aliens game sometime. Hey, good thing I shut the door, right? Something weird about that cup. His cup just says coffee on it. They all just say coffee. All the coffee cups just say coffee. Okay. I kind of don't remember which way to go. The guy that came in drank the coffee.
Oh, I, wait, I've been here. Ah, uh, I, I like, I'm having coffee right now. That's just a bunch of dead bodies. Oh, the gate's open. Document. Malcultra program, CIA document number a billion, page one. Uh, on Wednesday, 10th of February, 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in Building 13 in the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using following subjects. Material abridged. A post-hypnotic hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she should not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out those suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator, she expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Oh, no. That's not good. They're just adding, they're just adding some flavor to the game. To Vault. It was a nice Vault, dude. Who's there? Turn on two gas pumps and then the main breaker to restart the generator. What? I feel like what's happening right now is like a horror game trope. Oh, the battery. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> the person... Yeah, I know. The subtitles went on for a while. The guy just said like, who's there? <laughs> My guy really whacks the pump. Oh. I don't know if what I'm doing is correct. Dinked it, Ada. Twitch. <laughs> Hi, I love Twitch. I don't... Okay. That's fine. We'll do this. How am I supposed to do that better? Who's there? Yeah, those subtitles go on for a while. I 
I don't really know what I'm supposed to do about that guy. I think he heard me reloading the battery. I can't see crap. Stealth part. I went to the wrong door, yes, and then I thought I was out of time. <laughs> I went to the wrong door, and then I thought I was out of time, so I figured I would just hide around the corner there. That was like the first place he looked. <laughs> um, this is a combination of uh, of like dark. It's like dark in here. That's the door he comes through. Okay. Just remember when we leave. Other way, Bagel. Take a left out of this room. Go! Am I doing this right? Can I walk? Or do I have to crouch? Yeah, this is not. If the guy turns around and comes the other way, I'm gonna... Thank you. West Ham, hi. Hi, <laughs> West Ham, thank you. I don't know the way out of here. Is it the door behind me? Breaker. I don't know where he is. Okay. Hey, Yodeling Disco Dwarf. Weston, thank you so much. And hi, Yodeling Disco Dwarf. Wait. Is this the way I came from? I don't really know where the main breaker is. <gasps> Let me up! I think I've gone the wrong way. <sighs> oh, God! I thought I went in the door he came from. I didn't think he could come over here. I'm gonna reload the camera. Ah, oh, he shimmied into a crevasse. Forget it. I don't know how to get around him. I don't know what I'm doing. Do I need to sneak past him or do I just need to run? <laughs> Make more noise. Oh! Like he's just standing by the door. Sorry. 
What am I supposed to do? I feel like I've got myself in a predicament. <laughs> I know. He's walking down the hallway, but guy's like, <laughs> no. You caught, you caught me. Whoops. Whoopsie doos. Okay. Burr! At this point, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, it's funnier than I expected it to be, too. Am I trying to go in that door? I sw if this guy turns around. It's this door. I can tell it's broken. Oh my god. How does he not see me? This is when we all learn that the guy's like blind and he can only hear me and if I just walked it would be fine. If the guy follows me in here, god damn it. Whoopsie doodles! I was trying to do like a silent door shut. Ooh, a battery. Speaking of battery. Electric room. I feel like this game is like cheating at being scary. Like this whole green like camera mechanic to see in the dark. <laughs> like making it dark? How cheap. What am I doing? Oh. I mean, it chews through. It's chewing through batteries. I didn't even know I could hide in that thing. There was no putty tat there. Well, I, if I hid in the locker, I would have made a mistake, wouldn't I have? What's the other way? Please go the other way. Oh, Princess Tay, that's a good tip. Do I need to be ducking? Yes. Oh, come on, the thing's already running out of battery. I, just, I feel like the thing runs through battery really quickly. I'm 
I'm so boned. I am, like, wasting batteries. Like, look how fast the battery drains. Ah, oh, watching it drain sucks. Close the door behind me. I didn't do that. Yeah, how am I sneaking in a puddle of water? Oh! Fuck, I just want to leave. Go that way. I have no oh, the safety of the crevasse. Whew. What an, what an experience. Yikes. That was a close one. So, what am I doing? Return to the security control. Oh. Camera down. <laughs> no! Every single game is about I'm being sorry, injected with son. a virus. I didn't want to have to do this to you. But you can't leave. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. Will you see it? Can you? Our Lord, the Wall Rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers. The only way out of this place is the truth. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open. Was there an invisible guy? He does look like Uncle Fester. It's every single game you get injected with a virus. Outlast, this game. Probably a Resident Evil that I'm not remembering. I don't like knowing that my guy's got like a disease in him. Resident Evil 4, yes, Las Plagas. Yep, yep. Rest in peace! Pat! Remember that notes are only added to your notebook when the kid- Shut up. Pat. The guy opened that got out quick. Get back! Get the fuck away from me! Ah! Ah! I gotta check my notes. The priest Father Martin brought me here to show me something. Thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wernike is at the center of whatever went wrong here, but he died more than 10 years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. So wait, did he give me a... Did he give me a disease or did he just give me like a go-to-sleep thing? I'm gonna check all these doors. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. All right. What do we got here? He's just jamming. You inject me some like Nyquil. Just go to sleep. Who's this? Maybe Father Martin's man. Maybe. He looks nervous. I would like to kill him. As would I. The preacher asked us not to. It would be impolite. Not here. We give him a running start. There's an idea. And when we kill him, we kill him slow. Such patience. It's a little sexy time. September. And liver, they are yours. I did zoom in on it, Derver, now that I think about it. I was trying to remember, what are the Twitch rules about nudity on streams? As long as you don't zoom in on it, it's fine. <laughs> That's, it was, if I had it, if I had glanced at it, not banned. It was the zoom that will get us banned. Um, I wanted on record the zoom was unintentional. I was actually trying to zoom out, and I accidentally zoomed in. Let it be known. Bagel, Bagel tried to zoom. <laughs> I like all these, I like all these jump scares at the windows, and then I immediately try to open the door. Don't do that. Thank you. Got batteries in here? What was it say? Oh, yeah. Oh, we could get pretty comfy under here. They got nothing on me. You got nothing on me, Twitch. <laughs> Try to prove it. I'm gonna get an email. <laughs> From Twitch, subject line, penis zoom. <laughs> Regarding penis zoom. <laughs> us in this Keep place. No space. Billy understood. Oh. Oh. oh! This game really, it's like, every like five seconds, it's like, can we have another scary thing happening, please? I don't understand what I'm doing. Did I try all the doors? I have no objective. Okay, mean mug. Well, don't go back here, bagel. Well, there must be something downstairs. I missed the one door I need to go through. Okay, it'll tell me to press the left mouse button to open the door. Okay, I found it. not what I expected this game to be. I, th I There's like a lot of like people in this game. Like I thought it was like, I'm in a place with monsters, go. There's a lot of like stuff happening here. To get on the ledge, just move towards it. To go across this, do nothing. I'm not sick, I didn't do that. 
There's like, oh, like mutilated people. I didn't know we were gonna have mutilated people today. That was it. Okay. New objective, follow blood trails to the exit. Ooh. Is that okay? This game find Manhunt's been- yeah! Wait, is Manhunt actually banned from Twitch? Is it really? That camera's working. It's an operational camera. <laughs> Go this way! <laughs> Down the drain. Do you have a battery, dude? Closing doors behind you will slow your pursuers. God, now, now, when you say things like that, you make me think that I'm about to be pursued. It is. That's ridiculous. Why? What was so bad about Manhunt? Like, I remember there was controversy at the time when the game came out, but what was so bad about it? Like, you just kill people? Like, aren't there a lot of games where you kill people? I feel like I'm blowing through a lot of batteries and not getting a lot of batteries. They weren't experiments. They were rituals. I didn't... I don't have the time to read that. Watch this game. <laughs> Bagel, also this game's on the list. <laughs> oh no. Is time actually passing? Every time I've looked at the clock, it's been a different time. So it's is it it's purely based off the AO rating? Is this a guy I got to avoid? Hello? Well... Honestly, I just want a battery. You know what this game is lacking is, um... Is, um, like, unnecessary, like, physics interactions. Like, opening drawers and, like, all that- all that stuff. That's what Soma got right. We're fine. Yeah, I remember that yodeling disco dwarf. You couldn't go to the nightclub for too long. Or the strip club. Nightclubs are different, Bagel. That's just a guy you shouldn't stand near. In his defense, I didn't walk right up to him. than that. Good thing they can't work outdoors good. <laughs> Doing that breathing hurt my throat.
When didn't they let people stream their games? Oh, he leaves. Good. So that that was a necessary like little runaway event. Um, I remember uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 was super popular um, on JTV because um, so few people could stream it. Because, um, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, the super early days of JTV gaming, didn't, like, no one play, like, you couldn't stream modern games? Like, was it you couldn't stream them in general? Or, like, no one's computer was good enough to do both things at once? It was something like that. I don't know. It was a, it was a wild time back then. Yeah, blood, would you, yeah, I'm gonna go to work on Monday. What'd you do all weekend, Bagel? I don't know. This and that. You know, a little yard work. Yeah, I raked some leaves. I don't know. I didn't spend eight hours playing a spooky game while wearing a cape on the internet. Definitely not. Bink. Follow the blood. Someone coming? Mega Man Legends, it has been a while. Someday we'll get to do like the bet the hits, Ada. We'll get to play the hits because um I'll have forgotten them. I I ruined spooky games, I know. I um am like a hipster about video game streaming, and like I get I get triggered when I see people like playing up how scared they are playing spooky games. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's it's this there's nothing. Streaming should be real, man. That's all I'm saying. I am a little uh, frightened by those heavy footsteps, though. Look at... Notice I'm peeking around the... Oh, whoa. I definitely just, like, walked right past that guy. Don't run. Just walk it out. PewDiePie is a genius. He is. He is. And anyone who says otherwise is jealous. That's correct, Ada. Yeah, I actually, um, sometimes I, I, I type in, like, horror game Let's Play. Just to see, like, get the vibe for the game before I stream it. And, like, they always have, like, this, like, ridiculous, like, reaction shot on the cover of their video. Um, I haven't, go for it, I haven't played, uh, Silent Hill 2 since I was a kid, like, when it came out, but there's a scene with, like, a metal gate with Pyramid Head behind it, that's the only part of that game I remember. Like, you're just, like, walking through a hotel, and you go around the corner, and the camera just shows Pyramid Head behind, like, a gate, and you can't hit him or anything, and he can't hit you, but it's, like, so spooky. Oh, sure. This game's pretty scary. This game's pretty scary for me, yeah. This is one of the scarier games I've played. Um, like, Amnesia was pretty scary. Soma was kind of... It was a di Soma was a different kind of scary. I'm trying to think of, like, what the scariest game we've played on stream was. Honestly, this might be the scariest game we've played on stream. Oh, let's get that sick screensaver. Let me take this confidential messages. Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial to Project Walrider security. Please refer to Murkoff Corporation Maintenance Manual, blah, 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 or seek guidance from a supervisor with the proper security clearance. I, I've watched absolutely nothing that he's done. Cop fine, but I, but I respect him. Don't mind me while I drink from this comically large glass of water. Okay. Hmm. 
And you can tell when doors are going to be locked. Honestly, I just want some batteries. It's so big. It's so big. It's like... It's, like, it's a big, big glass of water. The Buster Keaton of streaming. I always assumed I was more the Gallagher of streaming. The carrot top of streaming. The store needs a key card. Remember, Bagel, bust the left out of there. <laughs> They're just having fun down there. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, that was easy. <laughs> Left. Ooh, the showers. It's gonna be fun. Why do you need a security card to go take a shower? I can get a little more life out of this. Not, I'm not. Exit through the showers. Okay. I could not get more life out of that. Oh, is it raining? Or snowing? It's rain, you idiot. My God, he vanished. I definitely saw that guy. Dude, just drop. Just go to that pipe there and ride it down. Let's pull him in and slit his belly open. Wait. Just a moment. Uh. Honestly, I don't even want. I don't want to run away from those guys. I don't want to deal with them. That dude was super naked in Yukiri. <laughs> well, on I go. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump. Ooh, a strapped down toilet. Count me in. There's nothing in this room. Oh, wait, yes, there is. There's lore. Please find the attached copy of Death Certificate for Rudolph G. Wernicke. State of Colorado. Hold to light to view watermark. Blah, 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 blah. Um, length of residence in city or town where death occurred, seven months. How long in U.S.? If a foreign birth, 55 years. Male, white, single. He was born 1918 in Germany. I hereby certify that I attended deceased from June 4, 2003 to February 28, 2009. That I saw him alive on February 27, 2009. That death occurred. Oh, 411! That's us! I'm taking my shoes off. That's us! Bagel 411. Plays the classics. Follow the channel if you're new. Nice. The principal cause of death... And related causes of importance were as follows. Heart failure due to advanced age. Died getting old. What was the point of reading that? That's Silas Knizli. It's a bunch of legs. It's us! Oh my god! <laughs> they said us! If he follows me up here, I'll be so angry. I'm 
Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. gonna do the loop through the vent again. I was about to do the vent loop again. I was gonna trick him. You think of me, that's called branding. Bum, 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 bum. Checking for a battery. Why did I let that guy in? Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> trumpets, trumpets, bum, 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 bum. Oh, poof! <laughs> okay, no, 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 for real this time. We got it, we got it, we got it. Sorry. I was like, oh, I found a different room this time. Wait, room I was just in. Whoopsie doos. Bump, 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 bump. Inactive! Woo! Okay, good. Yes! Good! Good! No, wait. I'm, in, I'm still inside. This is bad. Good thing the dead bodies broke my fall. Move. <laughs> You're now subscribed to Bagel Facts. Find an alternative path to the showers. Why do I need to go to the shower so bad? God, I don't want to deal with this. This is just a hassle. Do I have to go up the stairs? I don't know where he is. He's gonna be right in front of me. Oh! Good call, Bagel. Thanks, Bagel! He can't fit! Maybe. Just go that way. Don't even explore. Just go. Showers. Okay. I think. Oh! Hello? Oh. I think we kicked that part's ass. What do you think? I think we kicked that part's ass. It tells me if I can open the door or not. I don't know why I keep checking these doors that don't say you can open them. Um, all these rooms look alike. There's no batteries down here either.
Don't push me. Oh, this is like Tomb Raider stuff here. Okay. Witness. He did not kill his enemies. <laughs> keep in mind, he did not kill his enemies. What was this confidential journal doing down here? Uh, the DenverEagle.com slash obituary slash obituary. Is that a real page? Rudolf G. Oh, that's the guy. It's the uh, old German guy. Dr. Rudolf. Age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February 20, 2009. He was born in 1918 in Munich, Germany, and achieved fame in the mathematics and scientific communities for a paper writing with early computing pioneer Alan Turing. That's, uh, that's that Cumberbatch. After a cloudy history, I think, with the German war effort, played him in the movie, emigrated to the United States in 1949 with a visa from the State Department. Several decades of government research in Los Alamos, that's the uh, atomic bomb, of course, led to New Mexico where Dr. Wernicke retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. I hope that I hope that's I hope that's like something I get to do when I get old. Just take pictures of stuff and hang out with my cats. I'm allergic to cats though, so replace the cats with like dogs. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A statement from company calls Dr. Wernicke a true humanitarian with a generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. Oh, there's a guy down here. <laughs> Got room for two? Doctor where Nikki was a saint. Am I saying it wrong? Is it Wernicker? Better be a battery in here. Thank you. That was two things happening at once. Where am I? Don't mind me. No, you're not locked in here. <laughs> it's always running low on battery. Nothing. No, nah, don't do that. It's a very silky game, yeah. Woo! There is too much going on in this game for me. Oh, I can hide here. I don't need to, but we should remember that we can come here to hide. Okay, we'll remember that. We'll remember that. They keep saying silky in the in the game here. The game keeps using that word. The um, insane people. I'd be so upset if I was the main character and I decided to investigate this place. Yeah, that, that reminds me of the uh, the crow from uh, that thing. Yeah, Dark Souls. Yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Where do you want to go? What am I missing? I don't understand what I'm missing. Oh, got it. Find a way out of the sewers. Oh, 
battery. <laughs> ah! I, I'm super worried about wasting my batteries. That was a sick vault. Oh, caught by yay! Those three guys—they're they're doing the thing. I know what you're talking about. It. See, I, I too have seen that YouTube video. I know what you're talking about. I just feel like people would have noticed if this many people died. Found scrawled in pencil on the back of an admittance form. Handwritten matches sample from Father Martin Archimbald. This god is real. Well, we've mistaken so long for ghost spirits madness. We were only willfully burped in the middle of that one. Apology. Ignorant. The scales on Saul's eyes were fear. And when you see beyond it, you truly see. This is the gift of Wall Rider. The gospel of sand. The greatest sin in the world is willful ignorance of God. To receive a revelation and not spread it to the waiting flock. This place, to stand in the way of salvation is a sin for which there is no punishment too great. I get burped in the middle of that delivery. <laughs> I'm drinking a big glass of water. I have a comically large wine. It's just vodka. <laughs> Bagel, we're out of vodka. Is this the first, um, like, spooky game we've played in, like, two years of Spooky September? <laughs> Did we even play, like, a legitimately spooky game last year? Flush the water by turning two valves. Now, this is what I'm talking about, like, generic... Generic, um, prison drain. Like, this is a very, um, horror game thing. Go, like, activate two things while being chased by an idiot. You know what I mean? He sees me. Oh, hey, a locker! That's convenient. I am, um, I actually really, really liked I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. It was not, like overall in terms of like entertainment value, I don't think it was the best one of the year. But like that game was like heavy. There was a lot of stuff going on in that game. I recommend everyone play it. Or at least uh, read the short story. It's like free online. If you want to read something spooky, it'll, it'll take you like 10 minutes. Was Princess Day lying? No, he didn't, he didn't open my locker. That's correct. She said, she said he wouldn't and he didn't. Oh, fuck. Oh, run right past him! Nope. Would you actually see that? If someone ripped your body away from your head, would you still see for a second? Me? Which game did I mention? Which game did who mention? So he's not following me this time. Yeah, I have no mouth and I must scream. Yeah, it's really good. Actually, I kind of take that back. Parts of it sucked. I guess he's just coming. There was a lot of like, like there was a lot of like difficult point and clicking. How do you get that account? 
Did they ask him, like, okay, now when we behead you, tell it, keep talking until you can't see anymore? Like, do they cut out, like, I, I can still see, and then they die? Jenna Cullen, thank you for the host. Because, I mean, they beheaded a bunch of people at one point in history. You think they would do, like, experiments? I don't know, maybe that's not honorable, I don't know. Fragile. I don't know where the other uh, thing is, obviously. Oh, neural! Oh, they hooked up like uh, probes to their head after they cut it off. I'm totally not going to get away with this. Damn it! <laughs> My guy's just like, <laughs> like, like, like he's out in the open, like. What that means. All right, I'm just gonna be aggressive. I know he's right behind me. It's fine. Bum 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 bum. Female drain. Wait, we don't talk about them much? Like here in the chat room? <laughs> we don't Bagel doesn't really let us talk about war atrocities in his chat. No, I know what you're saying. Oh, what's this way? <laughs> that sound effect! <laughs> it's too cheery. And then you get cheer from it too. Tony, thank you. I did set the limit on cheer to show up at 100. I changed that. Don't hate me for changing that. Good morning, Tony. Oh. I wish this guy would just leave. Valky the part of Valkyria Chronicles, and this is not a spoiler, where that guy dies in front of uh, Welkin and Alicia was like, like one of the unintentionally funniest parts of that game. I'm just gonna run. I can outrun this guy. I can beat this guy. Town Watchman, no! Yeah, no more chucking nickels at me during the cast anymore. What's this one part of my hair doing? Go down. Hey, Tom Q, yeah, everything. We're kicking this game's butt right now. <laughs> the, the the funniest part of the game though was the uh, beach volleyball scene. Nothing will top the beach volleyball scene. Was it Resident Evil that was like press A to infiltrate? Oh yeah, we had a twelve year old that fought with us in the war. We're gonna play Valkyria Chronicles two next month, I think. I keep promising all these games we're going to play next month. Oh! Dick. Dick. There was no way I was getting back in that locker. Did they pay like a whole orchestra to do the music for this game? 
Use the ladder to access lower junction. Wait, where am I? Oh! That was like a shortcut. Well, whatever. <laughs> That's fine. It's a grind fest? I have heard, I have been told Secret Sky things that I shouldn't play it. I have been told I shouldn't play it. Well, maybe we won't play it. I don't know. We'll play something. I don't really like grind. Grind fests actually are not fun for streaming. Actually, boring stuff isn't fun to play. But what about the storyline of two? Yeah, there's a little sp speedrun strat. I see that guy up there. I don't usually drink out of this glass. It's like heavy. It's like there's a lot of glass in this glass. And water. Hey, Jacob Murph. Find a way out of the sewers. Where am I getting these objectives from? <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing? That's how you say it. What kind of experiments does a dead doctor perform on little patients? That's the question. Boozy! Fuzzy Kenneth, it's um. This game's actually been pretty spooky. But we've also had moments of humor. Do I go down there? Let's keep exploring the floor you're on. I thought I saw a light shining at me over here. There's nothing left to explore here. Batteries, batteries, yeah. I knew this cop had a battery. You could tell he was the kind of police officer that had a battery. Oh, Jacob, thank you for the host. Well, maybe we'll put, I understand the third didn't come out in America, but there's like a translation for it. But don't they still speak Japanese? I don't know. Damn it, what was the other way now? Nothing. Female ward is locked. We haven't seen any ladies in this game, have we? Been a lot of dudes. A lot of dude. More dude than I'd like sometimes in this game. I didn't see what that was. Total sausage fest? It is. It is, though. It has been. I don't know. Is that the case, Jenna? I mean, there is a female ward. We just saw the sign, but it's been like off limits. Go, always go left. Left was a dead end. Fair enough. Wait, peek through though. Nope. Just trying to save that battery. Hey, Rasker. Yeah, I've never played this. And welcome to the world of Spooky September. <laughs> it's like the first spooky game we've actually spayed, played during a Spooky September. <laughs> oh my god, I can open both doors. Try, try to scare me game. Oh, 
Where the heck am I going? Yeah, we call it a pee cape on account of um, one time I peed on this cape. Like, just a little. And I, I expressed, if you've never worn a cape for an extended period of time, you know, it kind of like, you know, I mean, it billows around as you're peeing. These are things you don't think about if you don't wear a cape a lot. Okay. I wouldn't drink this water. It's a short story, but a good one. The PK story? <laughs> it's a short story, but a good one. <laughs> My plan after this spooky September is to throw the cape out. I actually, I might try washing it. There's a note on it that says it can be hand washed in cold water. I know there's a guy down here. I mean, just like, do you see this? There's like, it's like, there's like thread coming loose. No, you don't see it. You don't see crap. Well, there's, yeah, you can kind of see it. There's thread coming loose. Don't pull the thread. It's just, it smells. It smells bad. White Day sucked, man. White Day is a game that should have been great, and instead it was, like, kind of bad. Do I go to the middle? What is going on? Just trash bags. Oh, the old one had male and female. I gotcha. That makes sense, Jenny. Yeah, it was like operational in the 60s. Like the CIA used it or something. How do I get out of here? I don't... I, I feel like I've explored everything. Oh, the stairs, you idiot. You're fine. <laughs> Suck it. I... That was pretty good. Well, that would make sense. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, don't do that. Damn it. Guess I'm safe. My guy is pretty fast. safe no one can no one can shimmy through those things okay there's stairs up there bunch of dead bodies I would love to play it I said this before Swizzlefish said I didn't but I I would love to play a um a game like as scary as this with a vibe or something. I even if I play it for like ten minutes and I say no, I want I want to like do it for those ten minutes. Horror games always have pushing mechanics too. Why they? 
Like, hey, and as you go through this, check out that dude's thigh. Is Emily wants to play good? It's short, right? Fingers first, then balls, then the tongue. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> Wait, did I write that down? Oh God, there's so many we haven't read. Fuck this place, seriously, just fuck this place. Dying keeps moving lower on the list of worst things that could happen to me. Okay. I can't shake Chris Walker, the big ugly fucker who likes ripping off people's heads. I hear him muttering about security protocols containment. What if he's not the problem? What if he's trying to fix it? The harder I try to escape, the further I get into this god-awful place, like fighting a tar pit. They've been torturing people in the basement by methods, by method. Written on the walls, fingers first, then balls, then tongue. Someone's managing the torture, instructing them. Managing the torture, instructing them. Okay. Well, that's fine. Great dating tip. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why would I push this forward? Oh, someone's trying to come in. Hold on a second. Well, what was up the stairs? There was a staircase back here, I think. No, oh, maybe I'm making it up. Oh, wait, yeah, here it is. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to play Alien Isolation. It's kind of a long game, though, isn't it? I mean, we have the time to play it this year, but it would knock out a few other games I want to play, I think. What's that puddle about? Leave him. Club Penguin? I mean, obviously, I can go up there. Stop trying these obviously closed doors. Aha! Rick Traeger! This patient's also unfortunately didn't make it. I tried my best, but I'm just a doctor, not a miracle worker. And I'm pretty new to this whole doctor thing, so I'm still working out all the kinks. Anywho, somebody's got to cut the fat from this Project Wall Rider disaster. We've been bleeding money ever since this thing went tits up on account of the boon kid. But I've managed to slip back personnel by more than 80 people, which means short-term savings in salary and long-term savings in pension and healthcare costs. And I've been figuring out a lot about biology. I was on the fence about it before, but now I can say with absolute certainty that a person can't live without his kidneys. You learn something new every day. Classic Rick Traeger. <laughs> yeah, no, when I read Rick Traeger, it immediately screamed like, yeah, 90s television doctor. And then everything he wrote there on confirmed that. <laughs> Just really checking out that dead guy. <laughs> This idiot doctor got hired then fired like half the staff. <laughs> you don't need the light. Save your batteries. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh! Poop! No! Really blew a lot of time there. Go around. We'll flag this piece of shit. Okay. You 
should have shut the door. I should have shut the door. God damn it. I should have shut the door. Oh, well, wait a minute. Oh no, I should have shut that door. I should have shut that door. Okay, go quick. Stop jumping. In fact, I'm gonna shut all the doors. This is correct. What I'm doing is right. Fingers, yeah, it's fingers first, you doofus. You were a fool. Ball rider! <laughs> Ball rider! Oh! I feel, I've never played it, but I feel like this is like spooky Mirror's Edge. Okay. The music's like, bam, like, you know, bam, I'm the music. <laughs> oh my god, the music's doing the music thing. Oh, crap. It's still happening. Don't do that, you idiot. Now you're dead. Oh, crap. We were just parkouring our way through. Good thing this uh, journalist is so athletic. Okay. They come through that door. I can't open this door. Oh, I can go up and over. I didn't. Okay, I didn't notice that. Jesus, I just freaked myself out. Like, how am I supposed to get out of this jam? I was trying to shut the door. I was trying to shut it. Yeah, I got up the desk, Aluchu, but then I, I I messed up when the door shut. I was like, it said left click, and I was like left clicking, and it wasn't doing it. Okay. Got it. You're not one of them, are you? Quick, get in the dumb waiter if you want to live. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Give me the right choice here, buddy. Hey, you're the bullshit priest's guy, aren't you? Yeah, he said I want my money. That's what I thought he said. Uh, his witness, oh, but that didn't make sense. Exhausted. No, let's take a break, huh, buddy? The old two martini lunch? Hmm? Have a little confab, blah, blah. Well, you're then you look. A little cardio wouldn't kill you. Okay, here we go, arms and legs inside the car at all times. <laughs> oh, I can look around, okay. What a twist. <laughs> the guy who said he was my friend is not. You know, I love the mountain air up here at night. You, you want to head out and take a stroll? <laughs> Go ahead, I'll wait here. <laughs> Go on, run free. <laughs> I'm in no hurry. No? All right. 
Those to the grindstone, I like that. Okay then, right. So we're supposed to be like so close to the exit, like we feel like pain. Mm -hmm. Like we should be able to escape right now. Do you remember in like elementary school when someone would uh, break their leg and they'd get a wheelchair and you'd be super jealous? They got a cast, everyone would sign the cast. Everyone paid attention to them, they got a sick wheelchair. Truth be told, I was just trying to look at my own stance. I remember that. Thanks so much for coming by. We'll begin your consultation. I tried to turn on the, uh... <laughs> Wait, let me film this. And, uh... Oh, movies. And it'll give us a chance to talk. Don't waste my battery. Oh, that's all but. I'm a horror game trained to try to uh, get through this now. I'm a bit worried how much time you've been spending with Father Martin. I, I know. Like the end I of uh, Phantasmagoria. We gotta like really try to get out. Holier than thou, Bible something. Uh, no offense to the man, but I sometimes worry he might just be a little bit crazy. Made some understand when people get scared. Like uh, zoom, don't zoom in on it, Bagel. Don't make the stream about the guys. Don't even talk about it. You have to rob Paul to pay Peter. There's no other way. Murder in it is the simplest form, but what happens when all money is gone? Well, money becomes a matter of faith. And that's what I'm here for. No, not the Believe. urinal so scissors. Believe. I thought, the, I thought it was a sword. <laughs> You paying attention? <laughs> Don't pass that on me. There's so much for you to absorb. Yeah, he did the fingers first. <laughs> Better, right? You understand why you cheat here? We made the consumer into the means of production. This thing is gonna sell itself. <laughs> oh, those are my good fingers. No, I don't like this. Now I gotta be the game without two fingers. Oh, they really... Look at this scene. They got the spider underneath the vomit. Wow. You see that? He didn't just grab the camera. He vomited. But he didn't just vomit. There was a little spider crawling around, too. I, he lost one of his good fingers, yeah. I'm not a patient. I'm an executive, just like him. Like, Jagger. He got the treatment. He's still alive. Chilled with Fernicke's Lakers. I should film this. It worked so well. They couldn't control it. And you can't control it. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody! He'll find you. He'll kill you. He's coming now. Traeger! Traeger! Oh, was that Dr. Traeger? Oh, crap. Oh, shit! Damn it. Traeger! <laughs> the game got me caught up in that guy's little exposition. I wasn't ready for Traeger. Still, you know, tr you know, perusing the area. Okay, don't listen to that guy. That guy's a trap. How do I? Like, 
just learning his language. He works so well. They can control it. Hey, <laughs> he's coming right now! Nobody's. Nobody. Is he? <laughs> Nobody can find you. Okay, you. He's coming now. Dragon! I mean, we absolutely cheese that. Damn it! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was so upset when that thing said it needed a key. <laughs> Traeger's like a really crappy doctor. Which way do I go? You're hiding a battery. No, you're not. I mean, obviously, I can push that. I'm doing. They're making a sequel. Well, it's good. This game is very impressive. I really like this game. Oh, look at my hands. They're all bloody. Oh. Oh. So I need, like, an elevator key. I, I think I got to... Did he see me? <gasps> yeah, Torgo, we're playing an actual horror game. This is this game's been a blast so far. I'm really liking this game. Um, not know to check all the stalls. Like, there's only like so many places I could be right now. Also, I don't know if he's left. That's the bathroom. So I think there's another thing I have to push. Yeah, why wouldn't he check everywhere? I have no idea where Traeger is. Let me just shut that door. I'm a closer. That's who I am. Windwolves, do you like this game too? Have you played it? Or are you just liking it so much vicariously through the stream today? Because I bet you are. This is an excellent, excellent playthrough of Outlast. Probably the, the best playthrough on the internet of Outlast is this one. <laughs> they really got that guy's leg isolated. I can see him. 
not super positive how the stealth mechanics work. Okay. Horses, force mono. Buddy. Go, God damn it. Run. I can't do this part. I don't understand this part. Occupy Stall Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chuck played this? This is like the... the uh, Ch Chuck just played a different game I had played too, right? Where are the survivors? Where are the sharks? Like, I know I need to get out this door into the left. You said you are gonna turn up on the place I'll There he is. Oh, just up and over. No, nope, it's not that. I'm so dead. Oh, wow. Yeah, baby! Bathroom stall! No! Bathroom, yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Bathroom! I must close. That's who I am! Well, I think I've made it. I've progressed to somewhere new. Tonkoots. I opened the stall, shut it. <laughs> Shanghai, that was the original idea behind the uh, Spooky September. Hold up there, buddy. Hold that he right definitely way. sees me. <laughs> no door. Crap, I'm going the wrong way. I think. If he turns around and comes through this door, I'm going to be mad. <sighs> Bathroom. Yeah, baby! As he opened the stall, I was just like, excuse me? <laughs> I'm liking this game a lot, Chips. It's this game's really fun. It's it's spooky. I feel like I've had a um, you know like a like a high heart rate the whole time. Ah. Woo! The blood told me to come in here. To whom it may concern. This is from David Annapurna. At HR Resources. Ah, see, they combined it. HR Resources, I think. This is my third time asking for reassignment after two months without an answer. I don't want to work at Mount Massive anymore. I have been orderly my entire life and have never experienced such a constant level of secrecy and disrespect. I even have suspicions that some of the patients may be abused. I know personally of two of them who have been moved to the basement ward and never returned. If I don't get an answer to this email, I will be forced to resign and may very well consider contacting the press. Oh, this is the guy that sent me here. I'm a, I'm a ghost. But it was HR e-sources. Oh, wait, what? I can hide under the beds. Right. My usual tactic is just run around frantically. <laughs> the shadow. There's, the lighting changes. I see your tricks.
Do you need batteries? <laughs> My phone just vibrated. Like, what? Oh, the key! God damn it! Okay. Big, you're kind of balls at hiding, man. Wait, how do I leave? Oh, I probably have to go the way he came from. Oh, God damn it. We'll hand it. We'll hide out in here for a bit. Hiding under those beds are bad. It didn't seem like a good idea. Yeah, but like the blood clotted or something. I don't know. I don't think he's coming. Book it. I don't, damn it, I don't remember where the elevator is. This way? I think this is right. I, it's probably still on the floor. I would have at least put it in my pocket, you know? Nailed it. He has to come up, right? I thought we'd like see him at the end here. There it is. That breaks the elevator? Weird. Oh. There's a lot of movies, like action movies, I feel like. Or maybe I just saw the same few movies where, like, they have to go up here on the elevator. And I always thought at some point in my life I would have to do that. Climb on top of an elevator like that. This is Archbishop Wilfred Panzram. Hell of a guy. This is Father Thomas Wilter. Yeah, we got him. Suck it. <laughs> I'm going to assume going down, I can't go. Oh, wait, but there's a crevasse. Oh, there's something back here. Nothing. Nothing back here. Well, let's see what's up the stairs. <laughs> I want to go up more. I want to go deeper into the asylum, please. Yeah, Die Hard had it, yeah. Maybe I'm just thinking of Die Hard. Or maybe, okay, no, we're talking about two different things. Well, now I'm confused. Password. I'm waiting for the part of the game where I just like enter a dark hallway, I pull up the thing, and then I see something in front of me. Like, I feel like that's gonna happen. Secular maniac would carve you up like the others. Meet me outside. We're close now. Find Father Mount Martin outside. Am I really close to the end of the game? This is a very um stressful game to play. Like I feel stressed. Like I can't like let my guard down. 
know. It's not about horror games. They're just like a little stressful. Well, who would do that? Yeah, they made three Santa Claus movies with Tim Allen. Yeah, it does, Sky. They did a really good job with this game. I feel like this game didn't get, like, very good reviews from, like, actual critics. Like, is it, I, like, I, I, because I try to see if a game is good before I play it. This game's great. R. Traeger. Oh, this is the guy that just died to P. Walsh. Mr. Walsh, please accept the immediate resignation of orderly blood David Annapurna and process him as a patient of Mount Massive to treat his persecutorial delusions. Treatment should continue until the time of his death. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I miss Rick Traeger. You know what? Traeger's not dead. How about that? Traeger's coming back. I think Traeger's not dead and he's coming back. I don't think we've seen the last of Rick Traeger. He's too much of a character, character to just die like he did. I mean, you're telling me to do this. Okay. They never get good. Why? So I'm like halfway us. through. Cool. Turned us into these things because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. So let it burn. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. Get out. If you want to live, you can get out through the kitchen. Turn on the sprinkler system. Why? <laughs> Oh, I can't go through the kitchen because I would totally just jump over that fire. Real life, I'd jump over that. Or I'd wait for it to burn. I would not turn on the sprinkler system. Well, someone's got to save this damned asylum. Yeah, my guy's fingers are all janky. On account of the time they were chopped off. Can't run in this room. Very clean trash can. Does this game have any flubber in it? <laughs> no, there's no flubber. <laughs> for Spada, for the last time, there's no flubber. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? This is why we banned your identity. <laughs> Teamwork. Team player award. Patrick Petrina. Employee of Murfkoff Corp. Who best exemplifies team concepts. If you're seeing this, say something. There's no shame in... Psychopathological Proximity Stress Disorder. Talk to your supervisor to get help from a Murkoff Success Counselor. I wish I was a Success Counselor. I feel like I'm running out of batteries. Like, I know I'm not, but I feel like I am. What am I doing? Also banned. <laughs> There's no water in the system. You must first turn on the two valves. Game. This is the third time you've pulled this little trick. I 
honestly, I invite the chase. Wait a minute. Take him out. He... He came with me. He's not as easy to fake off as, uh... To fake out his, uh, buddy Traeger. Traeger was easy. This guy's a little harder. It's just, it's, it's always two valves. It's always... So where are said valves? There is nothing here. And that's the way back. There's a flubber too? Could you be louder? Sprinkler valve. Jesus. One friggin' locker. Like, where could I be? <laughs> Is there really a flubber too? So messed up. Why would you need a sequel? The, the, every question was answered in the first one. There's a 1963 flubber. It's probably boring. Probably sucks. That flubber's stupid. Oh, there was a second locker. There was. Okay. Where is he? Went the wrong way. See him. Go. He can't fit through here. I'm gonna leave that guy. Sprinkler! Thought there might be a battery in the corner. Bum, 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 bum. No complaining. We have to wash every little thing. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, what that guy's doing is weird. I'm just gonna go. We're gonna be totally fine. Yep, we're fine. Wait. Wait, I've forgotten where the water thing is. Is it back there? It is. There was nothing, there's nothing else in this room. There was just that, uh, thing saying to put that guy away. Yeah, I have to go back there. God damn it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, the force motto. We all have a lot of unanswered questions about Flubber.
I wish this guy would leave. Yeah, let's just wait. Let's just wait. We're gonna be fine. There's nothing left for us here. Hey, Obscure was a good game, Flamingo Spit. I loved it. There's an Obscure 2 that I want to play this year before I forget Obscure 1. Hong Kong. Like, while it's still fresh in my memory, I want to play it. The music is out of this... It's, like, out of its mind. I just need to go, like, in this room. Out. Oh, wow! That guy felt like he had to burn every- Oh! Okay. Anyway. That guy felt like he had to burn everyone. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah let me extinguish that. Guy's super dead. Bean. Taste pass appear. A little coffee. Why does no one just leave batteries around anymore? This game used to be full of batteries. The thing about Dracula 3 is that it's mostly about flubber. How does the game keep going for a few hours? Like, we're at the end. General problem. For the past several months, Bluebird has been endeavoring to assert... To ascertain, ascertain by research, study, instruction, and some practice what value, if any, can be derived from sleep induction of hypnotic techniques when applied to war and specific agency problems. Can we create post... Hypnotic control. Can we create by post hypnotic control an action contrary to the individual's basic moral principles? Can we guarantee total amnesia under any and all conditions? Can we alter a person's personality? How long will it hold? What are full details on sleep inducing machine? Oh, I don't know. It's a nice spider web. How is it this dark outside? This is impossible. It's impossibly dark. This door needs a key. Why would I go back in? I mean, some... Somehow the outside part is scarier than the inside part. Probably because it's so open. What? How alive are you? It's a good point. You were still in the we were still in the part of the dock. I could I could get out of it. I would figure out a way to climb over that. Like screw finding Dr. Martin. I'd be climbing that tree. I'd be out of here so quick. I'd, I'd be out of this place so quick. You got the key to the maintenance shed. I don't know. What is real? What is mind? No matter. Where the heck did that father what's his name go?
Yeah, we gotta explain that. I need batteries, man. <laughs> I just got charged by like a spectral skeleton. Dude, I'm running low on battery. <laughs> a g g g ghost! Ooh. Battery. Sitting on those pallets of wood outside. Nice. That'd be funny if at the end we, we like pull the mask off and it's just been some guy the whole time. And it ends like an episode of Scooby Doo. Like, like they just like the game decided to go with the Scooby Doo ending. That'd be pretty funny. Wouldn't make a lot of sense, but it'd be funny. Is that him? Out of batteries. Oh. I don't think that was him. Well, you know what, Force Mono? There was Scooby doing the 13 ghosts with Vincent Von Gool. That's a locked door. Just keep the thing up. Stop putting it down. It's hard to see. And I believe there were legitimate ghosts in uh, Scooby Doo in the third. It wasn't a good series. It was like Scooby Doo, Scrappy Doo, like some punk kid, Shaggy, and Daphne. No, yeah, and Daphne. And that was it. Where am I? The door doesn't open. Is there no reason to be down here? I mean, I mean like the world's tiniest area. Yeah, Scrappy Doo sucked. He was a poochy wannabe. <laughs> he was. Going down there is only like if you fall. How, what the? The hell was that? Oh, I'm shimmying. Jesus Christ. I thought I fell. Why am I doing all this parkour? Like, what a weird part of the game. The outdoor parkour section. I'm almost out of battery again. Have to get out. All the doors don't open. I, can I saw a ghost. Spending all this time looking for batteries. Come on, usually the walkie-talkie guy has batteries. Guess not today. We're a re-parkourter, yeah. No, this is a very athletic dude we're playing as. What's he doing? Don't show that bagel, that might be something weird. No, wait, let's really show it. What? What am I doing? Is this the way I came up? And that door's closed. That way it was a... Oh. No. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, out here? Jesus. Was that correct? It's The game saved, so I guess that was correct. But, like, logically, why would I jump back down? No! I don't... Uh-uh. I 
heaven. But we can, Jacob. We can. I have the PS4, so we could play it. We could we could play uh, Until Dawn, because that's a PS4 game, right? I saw someone play... Maybe I saw GQ play it for, like, just a brief moment. Just the tiniest of moments I saw. So I'm assuming I gotta, like, climb up that stuff I almost got to. Can't go through that. I mean, like, I can't even see where this guy is. Okay, I see him. Oh, come on! It's always ripping off the head. Have you played it, Jacob? Did you like it? Like, what if I just run at the thing? <laughs> what if I throw strategy out the window and I just book it? Nailed it. <laughs> I don't know which way to go. Okay. Oh, there was a pipe there. I couldn't go that way. Why? Because I'm an idiot, sup, sup. Why would they put this convenient ledge if they were going to barb wire this thing? Mistakes. I, um, I don't like this outside section at all. Like, I don't like this in the slightest. Because that's a hiding place. I'm never going to remember how to get back to that thing. Like, you can't see crap. It's way too open-ended. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how I'm getting out of this jam. I lied. I totally remembered how to get back there. That has to stop. Was the enemy broken? I think I'll just go in the hole, man. Safe. What the hell was that? How would I know that Father Martin was inside the female ward? He... He told me to meet him outside. And I'm burning through batteries. Female ward's locked. Oh, I don't want to be outside anymore. This is like that uh, part of Castlevania Bloodlines. Are you showing me something with this light? Dixie cup inside wood? Oh wait, they are showing me something. <sighs> what was he doing? Beginning 
Oh, that ghost guy was a wall rider? Even Abraham had to cast his eyes to the ground. But soon, soon, this way, revelation is at hand. Use the upper floors to reach Father Martin. All right. Got a guy there. Can't seem to get past that debris. It's another guy. Yeah, yeah, this reminds me of that time in Castlevania 2. I mean, I have played quite a bit of Castlevania. More than like a normal person. I wish I didn't have to keep using my stupid batteries. Did I catch that wall rider on camera? Now that I think about it. No, I don't have any notes about the wall rider. No, this does not seem like a place I'd want to work either. Why did that guy write a note that was like, please fire me? Like, why wouldn't he just quit and not come back? Like, clearly he ended up putting, like, being put in the psych ward or something. Oh my god. I was about to go to the right and I was like, ooh, there's a guy whispering though. What's over there? Oh, I am confused. It's like a billion ways to go. Wait, have I been here? No, this is a different ward. Nice. Some lore. <sighs> Joint intelligence. Oh, this is from Nazi war crimes. The first paper clip provides a meaning of obtaining services of foreign specialists for specific assignments within the technical services of the Department of Air Army, Navy, and Air Force. Project 63 is primarily a denial program with utilization as desirable feature. The aim of this program is to secure employment in the United States of certain preeminent German and Austrian specialists, thus denying their services to potential enemies. Well, that makes sense. That's, that's just smart. So is that all that was down here? Yeah, it was just some lore. This stream is a Nazi war crime? <laughs> doesn't make sense. Haha, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Ooh, battery. Crap. Think you're gonna get through the female ward without a little parkour? It'd be a lot less spooky if we were doing this game in the daytime. And all the lights were on and stuff. It'd be a lot less spooky. As it stands though, it's fairly spooky. Okay. Well, things are going pretty well so far. Why is it so dark? I'm just guessing at which way to go. I can, oh. Should I do this? Oh, look at my finger.
Drive in the nails. Yeah, let me get this on tape. That's the shot we need. Okay. Uh, what was the point of this room? Batteries running out. Oh, battery. You picked up the fuse for the laundry chute. Oh, damn it. I don't even know I needed a fuse for the laundry chute. I didn't even know there was a laundry chute. Hey, Swizzlefish. Good morning. How are you doing, Swizzlefish? Welcome to We Actually Play a Game That's Spooky on Spooky September. How are you doing? Pop in a fresh battery. Stop trying doors that are locked. Um, is he gonna? Oh, God damn it! What's he doing? Chilling. Fixing to fix me some coffee? That sounds good. I could go for another coffee. Yes, Swizzle. Yeah, add it. Yeah, add it. That's how they talk. Hey, hey Shirewolf. He's not coming through that. Uh-uh. Not today, buddy. Not today, you idiot. Eh, he's gone. Yo, espresso machine. I have a Keurig. It makes coffee. Like, just normal coffee. I got... I at least got the fuse in the thing. So we don't have to do that again. You ever play this game, Swizzle? Swizzle! Would this game be good on the H... I know you're doing coffee or espresso or something. Would this game be good on the HTC Vive? How loud could that be? Laundry chute needs three fuses. Are you... <sighs> I mean, the game is beginning to, like, wear through its... You know. You know what I'm saying. You must collect... Like, do multiple things and then come back to the center point with all of them. You know? But we get it. We've done that. We've been doing that. This is where I came from. This is the beginning. Okay. Yeah, it's like two more. It's one more than two. I almost said it's two more than two. Yeah, three is two more than two. I'm pretty lost. I, I somehow just got lost. It's, it's in into the left bagel. You're not seeing it because you're, you're refusing to use the light. So the guy knocked down the door. So I'm guessing I have to go to the right and to the left. <whistles> this game has no sky maps. Wow, Swizzlefish. Good point. <laughs> Where'd that guy just go? My stupid battery's stupid low. I feel like he's over here. Damn it. How are you supposed to get past that guy? Uh, 
Is he out there? Yeah. Yeah, he's out there. Which way did he go? It'd be cool if he went that way. Um... Oh, God damn it! I'm not doing this correctly. This is the janitor all over again. Hit the hood! Yes, the hood is memorable. Wasn't there a leprechaun movie in the hood? No, your, your name's memorable. I don't know how to get to the other part of the level because this guy is just standing in the hallway blocking it. Oh, Venro, yeah, Outlast on Channel 3. I, I see how the game would be called Outlast, but what does it have to do with Channel 3? Channel 3 is the Steam group I am in, or the Steam, the stream group I am involved in with Big Richie and the rest. <laughs> I'm getting, like, straight upset at this, uh, like, zombie goon. If you stand it right here again, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, there's gotta be one this way. No, there isn't. There's nothing this way. God damn it. No, wait, there is something. Pray for revelation. Got a fuse. I feel like that guy's gonna casually chop me up. Like, I'm not super scared of him. Oh, god damn it! No, press forward, Bagel. There'll be a place to hide over here. Don't do that, it's dizzying. Yes! I'm glad we, I'm glad instead of running back to the spot that I knew was safe, I went into this room. I'm gonna hole in one that. Invite the wall rider. Wall rider, you're invited. Okay, I now have one one of the um one of the fuses already in Ooh, someone's hiding a battery in the fireplace. Force mono, this guy's a big dummy. Okay. I just need to remember how to get to the uh, laundry chute, which is not not a given. Ooh, are you kidding me? Double batteries? It's my lucky day. Are you kidding me? Don't be over here. Don't be over here. Don't be over here. I'm gonna be so mad. This guy's over here. Battery. Flickering. Fuck! Oh, damn it. We gotta go all the way back. Reload. That was a dumb idea. This was also a dumb idea. God damn it. Pickle, don't blow this at the end, man. One battery at a time, and then it burns out in like a matter of seconds. <laughs> then another battery. Okay, well, at least the slow-moving choppy guy in here doesn't want to... Doesn't want to attack me. That's cool.
Yeah, I can't say I've purchased batteries in a while in my life. I just want to get in the effing laundry chute. I don't want to do this anymore. I thought that reflection was him. I don't know where he is. What does that mean? Come on, I don't know how to get out. <laughs> this is the right way. Okay, there's a guy there. I'm okay. We're fine. Shut him in. See, that- there should be more mechanics of trapping him. You know, like, screw trapping yourself. Get him stuck in there, man. At this point, I'm confused. This way? I don't remember how to get out of here. No, oh, fuck. Dodge him. It's fine. It's fine. We've just saved. I'm not super nervous. Dead end. I mean, he's got me at that point. I don't remember how to leave. Have we seen? Have we seen that death before? Jessa. Hi, Jessa. Oh, thank you so much for the host, Jessa. And how are you today, Jessa? It's another spooky day here on Big Place of Classics. Oh, there's two windows you can jump through. Maybe that's where my confusion came from. It's definitely this way. Okay. I went like every way but the right way. Uh, so the key dropped down, I think. So I think I gotta go down. Jessa, thank you for the host and everyone. Diamond Blitz, thank you for coming. I've somehow just <laughs> fallen. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Thank you, Diamond Blitz. Hi, Diamond Blitz. You know what? It zero. It did. It did. It's still really good. It's just it it the um it's it's making you do things that are kind of annoying. Laundry. Is it is is the laundry this way? Like when you have to collect 3 of something and then activate a like a a thing. Where the hell was the laundry? Laundry. Is this... Is this the laundry? I just, I don't like it. It seems like... Like, I feel like it pulls me out of the game because it feels very video gamey. Hey, Frozen Dog! I'm allergic to cats. Like, I like cats. If I saw a cat, I would pet it. But I wouldn't want to, like, spend the night in a house that has cats. Because, like, I'm allergic to the cats. Oh. Brief introduction to Wall Rider mythology. The Wall Rider, also known as an Alp, Mara, or Shrat, is a demonic creature of German origin that torments sleepers. They crouch on a sleeper's chest and crush the breath from him. The sleeper wakes terrified, paralyzed, and asphyxiating. The name Mara gives us the word nightmare. Sexual assaults by the demon are rare. Okay. But it has been known to drink milk from the breasts of sleeping women, the blood from the nipples of sleeping men. Okay. That's normal. Germans are weird. I just want to go to the laundry room. 
Battery's running out. Yeah, I thought the Wall Rider was this sick, like, monster that could run up walls. Like the, like the Lucio of demons. Laundry room. Oh, that took way too long. My guy always presses the button with such conviction. I think we may have been in here already. Damn you, Wall Rider. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was I was slow I was so slow to react to that. Oh crap. Like what? I just gotta make a move. <laughs> that shouldn't have worked. <laughs> oh, he opened it! Damn it, I didn't need to take that hit. Where am I going? Up? Oh, he can't make this jump. Huh. Idiot. Okay. That was a sick juke when he came in that room. Nope. Nice ex- Don't- Don't start nice exploiting me, you idiots. Sorry, I just called you all idiots. You're not idiots. You guys are great. I love you guys. This is the door. Nope. There's a locked door somewhere. I know that. I just got the key. Put the camera down. Oh, where the hell was the locked door? It could be anywhere at this point. Like, I don't want to go back into that mess. It can't be over there. Is it? Oh, is it? It's this door. Whew. Sorry, Sister Squid. I, I just I was so frustrated by that guy chasing me. Oh, look! You can even see the camera in the shadow. You see that? Okay, it's not that interesting. No, that was pretty interesting. Follow the blood. Always. No! <laughs> New objective, follow the blood. Ooh, battery. Okay, Jesse, have fun making food. He doesn't have a wonky arm. I do need to do that, okay. But what's over here? No batteries. This game has a lot to do with batteries. There he is. If I was smart, I would make sandwiches and eat them during the cast. But I'm not. Oh. What was that? I'm just gonna follow that specter I saw. Would you like to hide under the bed? No thanks, I'm good. Fuck, are you kidding me? I fell down the same hole as the last time. Only now I'm more confused. Okay, do not fall in that hole again. I just tried to eat a bunch of, uh, being smart is overrated. I just tried to eat a bunch of pasta before the stream. That usually carries me through. Oh, uh, they're probably, so, uh, yeah, I was thinking his flesh is probably tearing away every time he does stuff. Super nasty. Give me that. Give me this. Excerpt from the diary of Shirley Pierce. Oh, we learned about Shirley, I think. How can I not remember where the cuts are coming from? They hurt so deeply. Even days later, Dr. Newhouse tells me that it's my fault. Oh, this is from uh, 1952 to 1964. 
I'm subconsciously resisting the hypnotherapy, but I want so much to get better. I don't know how I can be doing this to myself. Dr. Newhouse says it's another condition of my bedroom-inspired hysteria. Poor Bruce. I make him suffer so. I've tried subtly to ask Mrs. Jackson if she had similar issues with her husband, but she is loath to talk about it. Her husband, too, was found comfort, found comfort in a younger woman. I know the doctor only means well, and with the help of the government men who've joined the staff, I am in the very best hands possible. I should just take my pills and sleep and hope for more pleasant dreams tonight. Well, there you go. After the... Yeah, I just black out. I, truthfully, I am usually pretty tired. And I... Um, but I have to go walk my puppies at that point. Generally, when I end a Saturday stream, I take the puppies on a walk. Come back. And then I just... I just like chug alcohol and blackout. That's the that's a typical typical Saturday for me. I don't know what I don't know what other streamers do. <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> hey! Oh shit. It was a mistake and I ran out of battery at the worst time possible. Why don't they see me? Why don't those naked men see me? Darn it. Yeah, the asylum's alright, but it's full of nude men. <laughs> I didn't zoom in. Chaos, I did not zoom in on his penis that time. That time. Okay, and the other time I did zoom in on his penis, I, um, did it accidentally. I was trying to get, uh, like a note to be filled in in my notebook. There's no way I can make that jump. Are you serious? Get it! You don't want a quick time event, that? Are you... If the next objective says, go get the camera, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, it fell way down. I'm so upset that the objective is go get the camera. Now, now how am I going to zoom in? Why did I even try to jump over? There wasn't even anything over here. Well, hopefully that means the game won't be dark for a little bit. I'd be A-OK -okay with that. <laughs> I have a lot of footage on that. A lot of important footage. <laughs> <laughs> why why does this stream always have to get so weird? Oh no oh. I swear to god if they're taking a shower and I don't have my camera <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm done. I'm all done. I'm all done. Just stay away from- just go toward the light. <laughs> the people used to do- Oh! People used to do- I like how something like that could happen, and then I just like- We break right back into conversation. We, people used to do shower cast back on JTV. Hey, Big Pharma, I completely understand how not everyone would want to watch this game. I completely understand that. Like that guy. So, Big Pharma, do not stick around. But thank you for uh, chiming in and saying hi. This is probably going to be the, the spookiest game we played during Spooky September. We almost played it last year. 
Almost. Like, it's just a today thing. It's just extra spooky Saturday. I don't have my camera. Oh, there it is. Camera's just wasting its battery. He's got to put it up to his face. There's going to be a monster in here. There it is. The F? Okay, I figured it out a little, like, a second too late. I've been waiting for I've been waiting for that damn scare the entire game. The entire game I was waiting for that scare. I knew. I knew there was going to be a point where I put the camera up to my head and I would see the spooky thing. I, I knew it was going to happen. And it was it was this moment here. I was like, I was prepared. As I picked up the camera, I said, this, yep, this is when I'm going to get spooked. So I, it actually, okay. Don't, well, okay, well now I'm actually confused. That was the spooky thing that was going to happen. Hey, Trippy Tube, I even said it. I even said it earlier in the cast. We're going to put this up one time. There's just going to be something in the darkness looking at me. Was this remastered? You don't remember the graphics being this good? No. Okay, I can't go under the table. Everybody! Everybody. Everybody. Uh, oh, my can't. Are you serious? The camera's broken? Okay, you can't do that game. I don't know where I'm going. I have to find a way to the third floor, I guess. Well, now we're dead. Damn it. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I have, um... Oh, have you played it, Captain Rivers? Is it good? I heard people complaining about the port, but, like, it sounded like something that could be easily fixed. I don't really know. Are you, oops. Are you saying you have to go do a bunch of stuff, or do I have to do a bunch of stuff? If you have to do a bunch of stuff, Tom Q, um, then... Oh, you have to do a bunch of stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate doing stuff. I always put, uh, put my stuff off till Sunday, because I end up spending so much time playing video games, you know? What are you going to do? Life's pretty hard. And that's the mistake. So we do have to come in here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do at this point. Good, good parry. I mean, this door's locked. I don't know where I'm going. Maybe I shouldn't be going down that hallway at all. Hey, the dog who farts rainbows. Howdy, how are you doing? It's too crappy to run games. Can you pick up like the 1070 or the 1060? 1070 is kind of expensive. Could you pick up the 1060? Is that out? Are those graphics cards out yet? Okay, so no. This hallway is the only way to go. I think. But I don't... I keep making the wrong choices. Like, where am I supposed to go here? Like, not there. Not left. Not through there. That's not a real door. Straight ahead, there isn't a real door. This is all piled up. Oh, Jesus. This guy can jump way higher than I considered. Okay. Back in the shower room. Which is actually just the broken toilet room. That's kind of a shower. That's a, that's a great point about the uh, games for Windows Live. That thing was a terrible mess. Woo! Take a little... We can breathe. Yeah, Pharma, I know what you mean. At one point, I could have either paid off my car loan or buy a new PC. And I said, well, you know, Bagel... That, uh, that Twitch thing you do is pretty important. So that, that's how I justify buying a new PC. And then we, we play like 99% games where this PC is complete overkill for. But now what are you going to do? Should 
probably pay that car loan off. <laughs> there was a much quicker way to go over here. I, to I totally used the stream to justify the PC. <laughs> I totally used it. And I, I, we don't even play that many... But, but it, this, this, I guarantee you... I guarantee you this game looks better because of the computer. So, why did you shut that off? You gotta just make that jump in complete darkness. Ah, oh, I'm writing that thing off so hard in taxes. That was that, that's right. That's that's also how it justified it. I could write it off in my taxes. <laughs> that's a great point. Is this is this happening? No. Sorry. Sorry, guy I'm playing as. Oh! Oh, hey! Only one way out. Only one way. Oh. Okay. How do you know you're not a patient? Uh, what? Oh, if that's the twist. Is it Captain River? At some point. Yeah, yeah, Once I start playing the classics of 2016... In the year 2023, then it's going to pay off. Oh, Big Pharma. I haven't... Uh, I make minimum payments on my student loans. It's awesome. Chapel, cafeteria, rec hall. <laughs> Executive squash room. Right? Solid Doug reference, Bagel. Solid Doug reference. Wait, that is a Doug reference, right? The executive squash room? Or is that like a Rocco's Modern Life reference? See how I just bait these uh, Nickelodeon conversations? <laughs> just, I just tee them up. Maybe I know the answer. Maybe this is... Maybe I'm not... Maybe I don't even actually... Th it's Rocco. Okay. It made more sense. Because, like, why would Doug want to get into the executive squash room? Go. Trick him. Why is that the dog who farts rainbows? Do you remember that time we played White Day and I thought someone was in the room with me and I said hello? I was like, hello? I got so scared when I played White Day. Because they kept doing this like stupid like crappy voice in the background that I couldn't really hear. Confidential, my butt. This is, you can tell this is modern because they're using email, my face. Well, that's cool. Yep, yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm doing, Big Pharma. I have no idea if it's a smart idea or not, but I think it is. Another interesting conversation with Billy this morning. He says he's been talking to Dr. Vernicki again about for, for his therapy in the white place. I'm disturbed by the fact that his delusions have only gotten worse with medication, which isn't in the literature for benzodiazepine. In any case, his dead doctor friend is filling his head with more German folklore. Oh, is, is the doctor uh, the wall rider? Apparently the only thing that can kill the wall rider are vampiric butterflies vomited from a demon called Hargzi. The butterflies suck the breath from people's lips and drink blood from their nipples. Just like the wall rider. <laughs> That's class. That, the wall rider invented the blood drinking nipple move. He invented the move. The hood. See you, I will see you later, the hood. <laughs> They can also take the form of emaciated upright pigs or sick dogs. So Billy's got that going for him. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, who wrote this? Is this that doctor guy? You mentioned Billy talking about his mother's tattoos before. Are any of them by chance tattoos of butterflies? Next time I get outside the Murkoff firewall, I'm going to look online and see if there's any actual basis in German folklore if Billy's making garbage up from whole cloth. Would love to compare notes sometime. Wouldn't mind doing it over a glass of wine. Winky face. Hey, sup, Cindy. It's Kurt. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you 
Yes, Force Mono, Bleach Bit, go on. Tell them, tell them what they don't want to hear. I like that I look over the chat. Force Mono's <laughs> completely different. Okay, um... Yeah, it's been a fun cast. Oh crap, which way did I come from? I think this is this is the correct direction. Winky face. Oh this guy. Left mouse button to interact. This used to be a flubber chat? <laughs> So I need the key to get in this door. We gotta go to the rec yes, hall. Coming. I'm coming. Okay. My camera broke when it fell. Is this the rec hall? Is this a rec? Am I in the rec hall? I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, a lot of people in this game have weird eyes, even in the paintings. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just, like, picking a direction and going and seeing how it works out. How long before, like, you need to collect five unicorn pendants before you can proceed? Where, do I have to spin this? For real, why did I just do this? No, don't go in. Oh, I, I, I went over a fence. Okay. See ya, Pharma. Thank you. I will. Oh, that's weird. Well, that's peculiar. Okay, I don't have to spin those. Bagel, you keep missing the chaos emeralds. <laughs> ba ba da 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 da. Ba da da da. <laughs> it's the chaos emerald song. You don't get beat the level and say, shut up. It's the song from Sonic. I never beat Sonic. That's on my agenda. At some point on Bagel Plays the Classics, I would like to beat Sonic. This is where that guy was just playing that piano, wasn't it? I'm gonna get arrested. He did! I love Hellraiser. Still on Sonic. Oh, how did you type still? No alteration to the footage at all? No trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors. Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? What are we watching? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt. What we believe. The overwhelming fear. Ecstatic <laughs> English words are insufficient. Sonic is no outlast. <laughs> Extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed the proximity to death, to overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you what are we looking at? Test subjects achieve something supernatural. No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. 
Then what was it? You said the, the wall rider is coming. Is that it? So they said I had to get it from behind the light. Oh! <laughs> it's got to pop up at you. Stupid broken camera. Well, I hope I didn't miss anything back there. Okay. Ooh! Just leave these confidential things all over the place. Wash those hands, you don't tell me. Oh, flesh-eating bacteria? Uh, necrotizing fasciitis? Really? I fucking quit. What? What is necrotizing fasciitis? It's necrotism of the fascia, bagel. Necrotizing fasciitis. <laughs> Necrosis of the fascia. Oh, thank you. <laughs> leather, leather armor. Armor made of leather. Oh. Got it. I think the, 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 there's a, there's a fat. One time I gave myself plantar fasciitis. And that had to do with like a ligament. So maybe it's more ligament based. <laughs> the guy's just like trying to spook me. And I'm like, yeah, okay. All right. No, yep, that's you. You're doing, you're doing your thing. So I can't, I can't open that door anymore. All right. What are we doing? Why? We have to, I have to stop talking for the jump scare that we can pick up again. <laughs> There's been a few moments of that in this game. So some of the jump scare, I mean, the, the early on, I think you get desensitized. I mean, isn't that the same way with movies? Like the more the game, the more the movie tries to jump scare you. Dude, be more careful with the camera, man. Like the more the movie tries to jump scare you, the less jump scared you are. Spatlin. Well, that's a classic Spatlin projector. Oh, Jesus, the key's right here. <laughs> now, if I know this game, I am now going to be pursued. <laughs> Idiot. So, I wish I... All research personnel must pay attention? What, what's it doing? I was just showing that crap again. It, it, was it trying to like... Oh. Was it trying to like show horrific images? To like get so they could they could brainwash them? See you, Tom Q. Have good running your have a good time running your errands. <sighs> okay. I don't. Not super sure where I'm going. Hey, yeah! Okay. It's fine. I'm just gonna shut that. Is that where we are? Is that a... 
Is that a creepy picture of where we are? Make sure when you take the photo, you get the you get the fence and the caution sign in it. Mirkoff Corporation. You have a kitten named Cthulhu. That's so cool. No, you didn't. Congratulations. I was saying earlier that I'm allergic to cats, but I appreciate them. Especially kittens. I especially appreciate kittens. I'm not, like, especially allergic to kittens. I think I'm equally or perhaps less so allergic to kittens. Because they're smaller. Who are you? Why does no one wear pants? No one wears pants. <laughs> the eroticism meter is going to start going up. <laughs> Bagel, would you like to pet me? Well, Captain River, now it got weird. Now it got weird. The same damn painting of horses. What am I doing? I feel like there should be a uh, confidential report in this room. Or something. There should be something in this room. The game's getting pretty serious right now. Everyone's praying. I'm gonna open these. Perhaps there's something in them, or... At least it'll make it easier for me to run away and hide. <laughs> I mean, that's just thinking smart. Look at this! Everyone's praying. Ah, oh, there it is. Let me read this. I am an unworthy supplicant who can serve our Lord only by feeding our Lord. Please take me, Wall Rider. Let me ship. Let my shepherd's apostles see it and spread it with his lies for a greater truth. Your time upon the world has come. My flesh longs for your beautiful wrath. Wraith? My blood is filled with you and waiting to be set free. This is my prayer. Write your gospel in my flesh. Uh, weren't we talking about, like, a couple weeks ago how the word flesh is, like, really creepy? Shot my own shadow frightened me slightly. You don't remember Diddly Dick. Okay, well, whatever. Well, wait. What am I doing? Check all the doors, you idiot. What are we doing? Bathrooms. And then all the other rooms are... But that's how I came in. I haven't, like, gained anything. These rooms are sealed off. No way to get there from here. I would love a toasted donut. Oh man, my favorite thing about fall is like apple donuts. What am I doing? This, this, there should have been something here. But I can't. Try as I might, I cannot ascend that. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Like back through the crevasse? Right? Like I checked every room. Donuts aren't a big thing in Europe. Yeah, it's more of an American thing. 
You guys wouldn't understand donuts. Yeah, no, flesh is a weird word. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's what I'm looking for then. I appear to be looking for some sort of flesh golem. <laughs> Isn't that just a human? <laughs> Okay, so I guess I'm looking for an elevator key in one of those rooms. Oh, wait a minute. Well, wait a tick. What is this? We do have to flesh this place out. What the heck am I doing up here? No, why? No, for real. Why am I up here? Is this like a hiding place? Kind of weird. Well, I mean, back to the other place. Okay, bagel. Looking, you're looking for a key. Which, <laughs> which, which one of you numbskulls has the elevator key, huh? Is it you? The guy, let me just put down my can of soda and pray. <laughs> it's gonna be in this room that I never went through. God damn it, and god damn it, god! God, this is like the second time in the game there was like a bunch of rooms and somehow I continually missed one room. Which was the correct room to go in. Look at that. Kind of a skybox. I like what, I like the, I like the, you get to see the cross a little bit. It's nice. I can't believe I missed one door. What a, what a fool. You were a fool. Hey, uh, do you think I could also get that picture of the, uh, asylum with the caution sign? The electrical wires and the big fence? It's really... God hates sickness. Yeah, he does. That, that's a quote from the Bible. Yo, sickness is dumb. God. <laughs> the underused zoom function of the game. God always provides a way. I thought I was gonna say wall rider. Oh my god. My job. You alone shall escape the Calva. This is your penultimate act of witness. The promise of the prophets was always freedom from death. And, and here it is. You will watch and record my death, my resurrection. Wait, should I be filming this? Together we will be free. You are no longer in any danger. I fixed the elevator. It will take you to freedom. We will all of us be free. The hell, my son? No! Okay, that... Psh, psh, that's definitely from Doom. That sound effect was from Doom. Think about it. The elevator will take you to the main exit. Okay. 
sirs. Good evening. Just figure my way out of here. What a wacky game, yeah. <laughs> what a ride this has been. What is this? Well, I, I know that sound effect's from Doom, but I can't remember. Is it the uh, Revenant that does it? <laughs> the penis. <laughs> Pretty funny. Oh. Oh. Shit. This is just crazy enough to work. I forgot how to get to the elevator, Shirewolf. Good evening, yeah, did I climb? Oh. Yeah, he found me. <laughs> well, be seeing you. <laughs> this is the part of Outlast you remember. This is a memorable part. I wish I could remember how to leave. I got an idea. Damn it. Okay. Oh, I am, I am toasting this guy. Biggle, biggle, biggle. Just use the damn thing. You're gonna die because you're an idiot, you know that? Holy crap. That was pretty scary. It, just, it was the rustling sounds that guy was making was scaring me. See the wall rider. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm all I'm all about this. Happened to my computer. The screen really points out the uh, crappy green screen effect in the bottom right, bottom left corner. Muffin apparently just has a copy of Dogzilla sitting over here. <laughs> what is she doing with a copy of Dogzilla? That's so weird. Um, I'm all I'm all about this. Uh, this, uh, like, thematic shift. <laughs> All about it. Oh, there's blood down here, too. Wait a minute. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Uh, this is from the personal records of Dr. Vernicki of Mo <laughs> Frankenstein or the Modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818, chapter 23, excerpt. Man, I cried, how ignorant art thou in thy pride or wisdom cease. You know not what it is you say. I broke from the house angry and disturbed and retired to meditate on some other mode of action. What the fuck is, it's like the sequel to Catzilla. It was really, it was like hilarious. If you were a kid in the nineties, this was like a, it was like, it was like a, like a, like a poorly photoshopped like, like, see this guy, like the mice, and like they're fighting this like giant dog with a tank. It's classic. It's a classic story. The joke was that it was like a giant dog. That was the joke. Anyway, we're playing a game. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot my guy's fingers got chopped off. I bet that guy. That doctor guy, not Dr. Vernicki, the other doctor guy that's funny. I bet that guy's still alive. There's Nazi mice, yeah. 
No, that's the, that was not the plot of Godzilla. Godzilla did not have Nazis in it. I don't think. It's always an evil corporation doing experiments that got out of hand. It's always the plot of these games. What was that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Post-mortem preparatory report. All material here is transcribed and revised to fit legally binding requirements of Murkoff Corp records. Author, Jennifer Rowland. No, it's my 14th autopsy of a wall rider patient showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There has been slight gains in cell migration and morphogenesis, including effects similar to human growth hormone. That's illegal. But, but not, the human growth hormone is illegal. But nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient independent swarm. So tired. Doubting my judgment. We'll submit another request for leave. The psychological cost of using such far gone and further provoked patients is more than I feel I can handle. Mothra was created by Nazis, was it? May suggest hanging less hope on far flung theories of a senile Nazi, even the game's talking to me about Nazis, and move towards using a simpler mechanical engine based on major sperm protein. And there's the sperm that the chat was talking about. Yes. We'll definitely suggest you guys can read faster than me. Harder, harsher chemical restraints. Murkoff security killed patient 921 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner. Just shove a couple heads in there. We might need them. This place doesn't have enough heads. Delivery exit. Ah. Uh. Oh, snap. See this? See this? This is art. You see this? Like you're so close, but it's blood, you know? This is the answer to a puzzle, I think. Someone remember this. 2 pi p. N over 2 pi p. V equals V. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Idiots. Delivery exit? I'm gonna go this way. Somehow I feel like... What? Oh! I'm the wall rider. No, wait, I'm dead. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought I was gonna, I thought he was gonna enter me and I would get the wall rider's superpowers. There he is. We got a wall rider. Where am I trying to go? Wall Rider. Yeah, fuck him up, Wall Rider. Wall Rider's such a pro. He can only be seen with the camera. So you want me to go this way, huh? Quick, let me write that down. This is the way you die. Ripped to pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me. But I somehow hope you didn't find another. Let me take some notes here. 
Oh. Can I take the gun? Is that the German guy, Vernicky? Is that Vernicky? Infinity. <laughs> you know, Abraham Lincoln was a wall rider. <laughs> Okay. Find Billy in the main laboratory. Is that this way? So Billy is like dreaming. Is that what's happening? I honestly, I haven't paid very good attention to the plot. Billy is dreaming. And when he dreams, he becomes the wall rider. And I got to kill. I got to kill Billy in real life to kill dream Billy. Is any of what I just said correct? <laughs> no, Beagle. It's not the plot at all. <laughs> Beagle, what game are you playing? <laughs> Dreams are such a cop-out, man. You know what else is a cop-out? When the kid is the demon. I've said it before and I'll say it again. When you make the little girl the demon, like, it's been done. Like, Poltergeist, I got it. It's good. But, the, like, every horror movie, it's like the little... Oh, who who can see the demons? Only the little girl can see the demons. Like, oh, child innocence, you know? Like, get over it. You gotta get over it. It's stupid. <laughs> Pickle, were you not paying attention to the part about the Dragon Balls? Let's see. No, I wasn't. I don't know where I'm going. Is he in the morphogenic engine chambers? <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, I know what I'm talking about, about movies. <laughs> what, <don't? laughs> Okay, so I'm going this way. This direction. Nothing in any of these bathtub these bathtubs, toilets. <laughs> eh, bathtub, toilet, same thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Take him out. Try to go through that door, idiot. I'm totally gonna get killed. He's coming through the door. What the heck am I supposed to be doing right now? Oh, damn it, wall rider. I should have checked out the other room or you just say, go left. Oh, thanks, Super Blargio. I'm having a lot of fun with this cast. This, this game is great. 
I'm really enjoying this game. Okay. Okay. Forget these doors. These doors suck. Just go. pitch can the music get? Is he losing interest? Somehow I've avoided the wall rider. Now, I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> this is correct. Don't. Oh my god. What's- I don't want- I don't want that! I don't want that! How are you supposed to do this part correctly? He went right through the- the, the stairs. He went right through the stairs, but he didn't- Like, what's the way I'm supposed to play this game? Here's the wall rider. You idiot! <laughs> I feel like this isn't a stealth so much as it is like a just go. And maybe that's why I keep dying, but and also I totally shut that door and I shouldn't have. Wall Rider is such a shit name. It is. <laughs> it's a really shit name. Did I elude the Wall Rider? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just elude the Wall Rider? Don't dick around, Bagel. Two batteries! <laughs> Two! Well, that was lucky. Hey! Oh, do the thing. Yeah. You were... The wall rider was a fool. Saving, thank you. Okay. Give me that. Let, let me see this. Note to all personnel from consultant Rudolf Vedeker. Do not worship the swarm nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked at the chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember, you are scientists. Back to the alarm and blood. It does look like something out of Akira, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Coffee! <laughs> That's a good screensaver.
In a second, I just want to look for batteries. Turn off the valve for the lift support fluid reservoir. This is just the, the, the turn the water down thing again. This is like the end of Portal. Can't carry any more batteries. I got so many batteries, I don't even know. The hell is that? I don't even know what to do with all these batteries I have. Spr turn the sprinkler on. Turn the water off. It's always something in this game. This is just a series of fetch quests designed as a horror game. Like, it's like the, it has the facade of a horror game. Just a bunch of fetch quests. I swear to God, the wall riders here, I'm going to be so mad. Ooh! From the personal records of Dr. Vanecki, Frankenstein, and the Marvel blah, 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 chapter 4. Learn from me, if not my prospect, precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the requirement of knowledge and how much happier the modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature a lot. Yo, Frankenstein is a boring book. It's not a good book. Oh, here we go. You want to go back to Alone in the Dark after this? <laughs> Cut off the electric supply from the sublab generator. Where? I, I know that the wall rider's here. I don't know where he is, but I know he's here. Get through that door, you idiot. Now it's gonna suck because I'm gonna get in here. I have ample time, but I have no idea where to go. Ooh. No, the thing. I don't have a real hand! <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Does the mo I don't know. I don't know, I guess not. That was really funny when he's got the... <laughs> the enriched oxygenated perfluor carbon from the life support fluid reservoir must continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that the OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient and potentially disrupt the experiment. Electric supply is supplemented and insured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. In the case of catastrophic loss of vitals, systems one and two, the life pod fail safe will engage, maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling fail safe will result in immediate patient termination. <laughs> One second, wall rider. <laughs> How do I, um, I gotta pick up someone's hand. That's classic. It's classic, uh, horror game. Pick up the hand and use it. Or anything. Or maybe even an action movie you would do that. Cut off their hand and use their dislocated hand. Oh, right, I'm being chased by the wall rider. You're not helpful. What? This is complete... This is complete BS. This is complete BS. I want a pizza. I'm actually pretty hungry. Okay, it's been turned, okay. Like, I just don't have a lot of time, and I don't know what I'm doing.
This door was open before. Suck it, wall rider. Okay, go up the stairs. Nope. Oh. Okay. This wasn't open before. The other door is still kind of ajar. I don't like I don't like the idea of the wall rider. Like I don't know how close he is. There's no fear. And I'm not gonna keep switching to the camera and then activating see in the dark mode. Night vision, not see in the dark mode. <laughs> I imagine being on like a SWAT team. <laughs> now activate see in the dark mode. <laughs> Alright, boys. Let's activate C in the dark mode. What's that highlight of? If this is a not... Are you... <laughs> I was there, man. What do you want? No, that was just unlucky. Hey, Wall Rider, cut it out. Of course, I die. I'm brought back seconds before where I had just died. And now everything is much easier. Go with God, sir. Hey, <laughs> Spiral, how are you doing? I'll be taking this. Please. He's going to have such a, a detailed uh, newspaper article when he gets out. <laughs> Look at my sources. Please find attached uh, the permission to proceed from patient William Hope of the Murkoff Charitable Psychiatric Psychiatry Program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado, USA. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding unfounded of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Vernicki, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. Why doesn't anyone read my dream reports? Disable Billy's life pod failsafe. <laughs> Out of context, that's like a very funny objective. Can you effing not, man? Oh, wait. This is fine. Wall Rider is a dumb effing name. I can't get over the fact that he's this like shadow guy named Wall Rider. Like you're right. There's something like wrong with that. Like, it sounds hokey. Oh, fuck. Which one is his pod? I went the... I went all the way around. I went the wrong way. Sounds like a Razor scooter. <laughs> Wall barter. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Like he chases you on like a motorized scooter? Like one of those shopping cart things? Dinkity the- Damn it! Disable the life pod! I don't know what button to save- Don't do that, you fool!
I hope the uh, sequel to this game is the same game, but you play from Wall Rider's point of view. How do I disable this uh, idiot's pod? Like, there's only so many things I can do here. Oh, that worked! Oh, I'm an idiot. Better film that. I'm not even doing it. I swear to God, if the camera breaks and he loses his footage... I'm all hobbled. How do I get out? I don't remember which way the exit was. It just says life support. I'm gonna miss him. I'm probably going this way. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I speed hobble? Oh, yeah, this is right. When do I get to become the wall rider? We get it, you're hurt. <laughs> Zoom in and I'll stop. Oh wait, right, I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this place. This crazy, kooky demon factory. I'm gonna miss it here. This shit, yeah. Smart. That'd be cool if you could just leave. I want him to look up. He's so tired. He looks up. There's the wall rider. He reaches out his hand. Oh, nope. I just played the whole game. I should get out. <laughs> I didn't even get to leave. That was a dumb, that was a dumb ending. For shame, JT Petty, for shame. I should have been able to leave. The music was all done by Samuel Laflamme. Is the DLC good? Do I get out in the DLC? Oh, spoiler alert. So it's all... <laughs> My favorite part about the uh, credits is the fact that I can move the mouse around. <laughs> Chris Walker played by Chibwamimwi <laughs> Miller. 
<laughs> Chim web we <laughs> I wanted to get out. I wanted to live. <laughs> Chim web we Walker was my favorite character. <laughs> Jim Wamwi. <laughs> or Chibi as his as he liked to be called. <laughs> I get out of here. Uh, that's great. Um, I give this game eight and a half uh, bagels out of um, ten. I give it eight and a half bagels out of ten. This is a this is a great game. This is a really great game. And anyone who said this game was bad is an idiot. The ending could have been better, but I mean, the game itself was good. We have to watch the credits. We always have to watch the credits. I give it an eight and a half. It's not way too high. This is a great game, it's an, but it's an eight and a half. Out of 12. So, <laughs> keep that in mind. Someone hammering inside my house? What was that? <laughs> that a Laflamy guy kind of ran out of inspiration during the special thanks section. Oh, is this a, was this another French horror game? Why does it get so quiet? No, oh, there is a there is a four hour credit scene, isn't there? In Mighty Number no. Nine, Bagel looks like Dracula. Thank you. <laughs> the look, I was going for. It's good. Can I get a menu like you got the rank of like Fox Hunter? God knows what it's doing, the game. What what are we doing? Do do I wait this out? Is it is it calculating my rank? It's just, it's just buffering. Why would it end with a crash? Why would it end any other way? Wait, is it really a Sinister Squid? Is it honestly doing that or are you just making that up? I mean, this is ridiculous. I want to know what my time was. I want to know what place I'm on on the leaderboard. <laughs> and I want to know now. <laughs> <laughs> it just so it just does this shit guy there's someone like hammering something outside i think um okay well i'm gonna stop this no i'm not i like when you hit control alt delete and the game like won't let you excuse me excuse me game Who's in charge here? Okay. I have shut the game off. But we're not done yet. Because we still have to play and beat the DLC today or else it didn't really count. Right? We should probably beat the DLC. Um, I need to take a quick break and get another coffee and some water. I will be right back. You guys sit tight. I'll put on a spooky, uh, some spooky music for you to set the mood. Um... And yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. Bagel plays the classics. We'll continue in just a moment. We're doing the DLC. Eat some food. I didn't make, I didn't pre-make a sandwich for myself, so I can't. Never seen the DLC. Well, we must see DLC then. 
<laughs> You're about to see the DLC then. Uh, I won't do that, Ada. I promise you I won't do that. Okay, have fun. Nah, you guys are gonna have to watch a commercial. That's, that's like at least like a, it's like a 70 cents. making faces <laughs> hey I'm back <coughs> hey I'm back <laughs> <laughs> did it just end oh I kicked ass then good so, uh... oh, this game also what game doesn't use the unreal engine I squandered the commercial. Did I not play a commercial? I tried my best. Hey, laugh face up. Oh, wait a minute. Gotta make sure all my screens are set up. Good to go. I should, I'm gonna add uh, DLC to the title. Just so people know. I, I don't really want to. Oh, it's DLC though. Like, you know. I, I don't really like watching Bagel. Oh, it's the DLC. Wait a minute. It was last smoke break. I went pee. I made a coffee that took the longest. New game. Whistleblower. Jesus, now wait a minute. Normal, hard, nightmare, insane. What the hell did I play the last game on? I think I must have done hard. I'm not doing insane. <laughs> I'm not doing insane. <laughs> Alright guys, pay attention. 
No, we're not doing insane. <laughs> Am I Billy? Spatlin. We don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. What's the matter? Somebody hit you? Here. Let me help. Ew. Is he licking me? Kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral assumption. What do you hope? Shit. They're not happy about it? No. The guy lick me? Shit. Shit. You give me a wet willy? Come on. <laughs> if you're not gonna wake up when I slap you, I'm gonna start licking. Two hours. Oh, I love I love when stories do that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did too. Oh, snap. This is the email the guy sent. This is the beginning of the game. Is the coffee. <laughs> Sending this in the creepiest way possible. Oh, he's nervous, you can tell with the leg. Oh, wow. Press left click to send email. Just tell him you were looking at porn. Oh, I'm him! I'm the whistleblower! They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. What are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a software. I look so suspicious right now. I'm worried about losing him by a pop top. My money is bad. The doctor was predicting assembly by 150. We're not being given enough information. What am I wearing? You've been right so far. I just want to know we're inventing something other than shiny new pants. You're in Wayland Park, aren't you? Yeah. Why weren't you answering the page? I'll tell them you're incoming. What is this? What is he doing on his computer? I swear to God, if I find a um, if I find a camera with night vision on it, I'm gonna be so angry. I don't want a night vision camera. Christ, Wayland, hurry up! They're waiting on you. Ah. Cutting it close. Next patient's been coming in arterial spin. Still done. We need you at the front terminal. Okay. They've got Gluskin out of his cell. Gluskin? We need this park guy in here now. Tell him he's got 15 seconds to keep his job. I'm right here. I. Hi. What? Oh, sorry. You're gonna have to write the normal feed a little closer this time. We've never had a patient get below. Oh, Swizzle, that is smart. Swizzlefish just said you don't need to animate their face if they're all wearing masks. Fix the apoptosis. What is this guy? What are they talking about? What am I doing? Do I have to listen to this guy? Childhood sexual reptile imagery? Is that what he just said? I think they're just repeating things. I think these people are just repeating things. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I work here! We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. Call into the chamber, ask them to delay. No, I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is going to have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? This is weird. 
Is that what it said? Uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I can see. Wait, what's my name? Considerable dedication to the Virgo Corporation. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Is that the is that the um is that the wall rider guy? Hope? What was his name? <laughs> Billy Hope? Is that Billy Hope? No, that's Eddie Gluskin. Oh, that's Eddie Gl Oh. Why would you put a key? You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. Was my performance good or bad? Retrieve your laptop from the server room. I don't know, that was fun. Voices are low. Yeah, they're low for me too, actually. Um, General Southpaw. Uh, I'm going to say uh, I can't fix that. I, have, I just have one volume. I can't scroll. Yeah, they're low for me, too. Oh, did something just say audio? No, it didn't. Yeah, no, I can't change that. Do -do -do. <laughs> uh oh. On the floor. Down. How do I can see him? Why would I not? Why would I not hide the uh, laptop? Consulting contract eighty two zero eight. Software engineer with a level three security clearance. Graduated cum laude. Why wouldn't they use separate volume sliders? Somehow, not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact. That was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the Morphogenic Engine Program? Well, that's what I heard, Mr. Blair. That was brave indeed, Wayland. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your brain. Yeah, the screen was still working. I saw that too. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. This place sucks. Like, if I realized what was going on. Like, did they get to leave? Whistleblower. Uh, uh Snowden. <laughs> Topical. Um, like, did they get to go home after work? Like, couldn't you just send that email at home? Oh, I'm doing this thing. Wait, was that the two hours earlier? Now I'm back? I guess so. Oh, they took away my sweet shoes. The wall rider. Okay. I don't, I can't see what I'm looking at. No, damn it. It's, a, it's the same 
effing camera the other guy had. That doesn't even make sense. Does that make... That doesn't make sense. Now we could just be playing the same game. Did I take a note? If I die. And what's up with dropping F-bombs in all the notes? I fucked up. Oh god, where am I? Hours could have passed. Or weeks. Brain filled with static. They made me watch the, the engine. Have to get help. Have to call help. Lisa, I'm sorry if I die. I know you'll be... You'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't expose is the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. Who's he? What's he writing that on? Who's he? How is he going to give that note to Lisa? Why wouldn't he just say what he wanted into the camera? Wallflower. Pretty flower. Fucking. I'll open you up. Open you up and show you. I'm just stuck in here. Hey, Tom Q, I beat the game. So yeah, we're on the DLC. Hi. Oh, how are you doing? <laughs> nope, that's back in the room. No, that's a different person's room. Wish I could have carried my batteries over. I had so many. Yeah, I know what the batteries are for. Who would play the DLC without playing the original game? Okay. Okay. How? <laughs> what? Oh wait, this is like a thing that oh god game! I don't I I I was in like a I was in like a cutscene simulator for the entire time. I was just I was like oh I was just experiencing the story. And then the wall rider eats me. A gun would be sweet. It would be sweet if they gave us a gun in the expan in the DLC. I guess? That doesn't make... It, I don't know. I don't think it would be smart to play that before. Okay, don't... Screw around. <laughs> okay. What, what am I supposed to be doing? It's like, hey, remember how sweet the end of the last game was? Let's do two more hours of it. <laughs> is that is that what this DLC is? Like, hey, remember the wall rider? That guy that could like go through walls and kills you like the second he touches you? Remember that guy? Yeah, yeah. Whole game built around that. Yeah. I could always use the old bathroom stall tactic. Oh, God. Okay, go. I mean, there's no way the wall rider doesn't know I'm in this bathroom stall. That's a good point, Jenna. You can't gun the wall rider. It's still funny that his name is Wall Rider. <laughs> and why am I not on Team Wall Rider? I know what the batteries are used for. Okay. I'm gonna film this. You keep it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. Do we know this guy? Too good for the likes of us. Think you're different? Something special? There are no observers here. <laughs> right right now our guy's like, oh man, Lisa's gonna love this footage. I can't wait to show this to Lisa. 
I wish that stopped happening. I tried to shut the door and it didn't work. Fuck, now I'm stuck in the- Ooh! Uh, not a, not a real door, you idiot. I'm screwed. The door, the door, whatever door I came out has since shut. Okay. Game. Game! I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I should walk past the next time? She'd rather watch the other guy's tape, Sinister Squid. Okay. The, the, the way he stands up is like so mechanical. Okay, door shut. What do I have in this room? A door. Idiot. Up. Oh. I thought I was looking for a vent. Okay. This game starts off like very aggressive. What do I got? What do I got? A radio in the prison. There's a radio in the prison. <laughs> Shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtlety, like you always said. You know, your mistake subtly. Subtlety. I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous. I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa. For the boys. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. Hey! Look at this. <laughs> I can't die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken. Too dangerous. Hey, everyone. Look at me. Yeah. Are you threatening me? Yes. Are you threatening me? No. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> I really hope that there's, like, not much wall rider in this. I found Wall Rider to be the worst part of the entire... Hello. That's... That's one of the spookiest things that's happened so far in the game. God damn it, it's the Wall Rider. Whoa, what, what am I looking at out there? What is that? Uh, no, Fart Poo, we stopped playing it because it wasn't that spooky. It was a good game, but it wasn't spooky enough. If we want, we can play it again in October. Help me, please. I'm a doctor. I need to get hold of my... You're not security. Let me film I'm this. A, I'm a patient like you. I stole these clothes from a dead body I found. You gotta get me out of here. Please, just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. I feel like this will kill him. No, no. Why would you switch into the doctor's clothes? That was a dumb idea. You know how they feel about doctors. Hey, you dummy. 
leftover tober. <laughs> I'm so sick of this wall rider. It, it was spooky enough for me. It wasn't spooky enough for the chat. Don't blame me. It's everyone else's fault but mine. Let it be known. I have to use the stupid night vision just to see if there's a wall rider around. I bet you could break that glass and slide out. Yes, sir. That's what I think. Ooh, I'll be taking that. Ms. Grant. Oh, wait. Subject. Resignation for mental health. Okay. From J. Blair to H. Grant. Ms. Grant. You may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Park of Leadville, Colorado in the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Wayland. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Wayland Park uh, resigned due to a previously undiagnosed mental illness. That's me. I personally visited <laughs> <it's> me. <laughs> Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them with the silver lining that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Wouldn't that be super suspicious? Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that with her power of attorney, she could try and fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be canceled and the family would be saddled with not insignificant health care debts. Hopefully she understood. But if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is one I want to take care of personally. Yours, Jeremy Blair. Jeremy Blair sucks. I hate Jeremy Blair. Mental illness. Ooh, that's me. <laughs> Ooh, I'm the one who's mentally ill. I do like the idea of playing the um, playing in the same place, but we're here like before things got super crazy. Like they're pretty crazy, but they're not like super crazy yet. That's G Germaine Dallier. Oh, that's who's that? That's Germaine. Hey, you guys got any batteries? Yeah, any lawyer would tell them, that, yeah, they would have a great case. Unless the corruption goes all the way to the top. Ew. How much time has passed? <laughs> like, how long has my guy been out? Like, a few weeks? Slide past those bodies. I'm glad I'm on their team. Don't you look at us. I love him. Yeah, that's that is the weirdest thing you could say. Gotta get that on camera. Nice touch of the heart being warm. Did I just did I just hear myself jotting down a note? Don't ask to see my body, Lisa. <laughs> When I die, when you finish the lawsuits that let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers, how would they not destroy the footage? And corporate hitmen, don't make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole, not eaten. <laughs> that man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger, a little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. <laughs> That's like so poorly written. <laughs> Dear Lisa, don't look at my corpse. Oh, uh, that's great. <laughs> I don't like the little visions my guy gets. I think he's safe. Can you climb up? I'm coming, Cooper! I just Unlock the handcuffs. Why would I want to go to the crematorium? Is that where the radio is? Oh my god, Cooper, hold on! Come to me. 
Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. The whole look behind me thing is, like, nice. But it's, like, super uh, disorienting. Now I'm a little confused. Fuck. No, Force Mono, I do not. <laughs> did it look like, did it look like a clearly printed font too, Swizzlefish? So I don't, I, like, I keep, like, getting into situations where I'm being pursued, and I don't, like, know where I'm going. Mine! You were mine! Oh. Okay, so yeah, like, here, I guess it was just right here, and I totally missed it. Camera up. I could hide under the beds, possibly, but I don't think that's ever worked out well. Or, that, I don't think it would... Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I hiding? No! Damn it, I hit the right... It said left mouse and I hit right mouse. That was a whoopsie doodles right there. I hit I hit right mouse and I shut the light off and I was like, okay, I guess I'm hiding. Left mouse. L left mouse. Okay, okay, for real. I okay, so I think I have to hide under the bed. I don't really know where I'm trying to go in this game. Awesome vault. Here he is. I don't think there's anything in that room back there. Shut the light off. Shut it casually. Left click. Okay. Was there a bagel on the ground? Well, I guess I've eluded him. Snarky J, the DLC is a little weird. Like the beginning was very much like, like um, I don't know what you call it. Like you just you walk from place to place to get story, and that was cool. Uh, but then yeah, it's like, boom, here you go, have fun. Does he see me? I mean, like we were immediately assaulted. Oh God. I mean, like, right off the bat, it was like, boom, here's the wall rider. <sighs> but we did have a lot of build-up in the other game. Good point. I mean, yeah, I, I don't think this DLC is that long. I don't know how long it is, but I don't think it's, you know... No big old. The DLC is just as long as the last game. I'm going to try my best to beat the game today. Hey, okay. Oh! I can shove him. See, they don't have to animate his mouth because they put a little strip over it, didn't they? So, little fish, now I'm noticing things. Nope, he's saying the silky thing. I'm getting out. No. Give me that handcuff key, idiot. Once they start using words like silky, you gotta get out. What are you doing? Ooh! Notes. Let me read this. 
Ethan? <laughs> Sir Skriskin Daraja. At the time of Ms. Cho's termination, the psychosomatic effects of the morphogenic engine on female employees and patients had been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients had reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in a matter of weeks before miscarrying the non-existent children, five of them fatally. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings, and eventually entirely off the Mount Massive facility. We got the lore! The critical secrecy of Project Wall Rider necessitated secrecy in the motivating factor for the reassignments and terminations resulting in perceived injustices from several terminated parties, Ms. Cho has succeeded in acquiring a court-ordered FOIA uh, release of the... Tweet. Release of the what? I, I messed up. Documents surrounding her... Uh, uh, termination, those documents will need to be granted and post-dated, providing ameliorating information while skirting the relevant secrecies of the project. Please advise. Ethan, Sriska da 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 Howdy. Howdy. Hey, Thermoflask. And hi, everyone. Happy Saturday. Thank you for tuning in. I am Bagel. I do play the classics. I've only taken one break. That's just your main Daladier. Pretty sure it's this way. Use the camera, you doofus. This is where that guy was. Oh, where am I going? Don't I need to go that way? Okay, maybe I'm going this way. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm going this way. Oh, shit. I was wrong. I am going this way. I think I have to... I can climb this. Nice. I'd like to see him vault that. Awesome. Yeah, we got a guy. <laughs> Rapidly tap the light button to save battery bagel. Oh, god damn it! Are you serious right now? I'm gonna be a lot happier when I kill this guy. that <laughs> Lisa's gonna find this footage of me like getting cooked to death that's great well the, the footage would probably melt too okay Lisa's gonna love this footage the game loves doing this like exit business like, the exit door that you can't go through. Let me see this. Father Clark. Uh, this is from the excerpt from the something 58 to 65. <laughs> I know. Gary Johansson. I always, I always, I always think your, uh, your name's Gary Johnson. <laughs> Just for a second. Um, far be it from me to lie to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients, and if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know, and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or similar karmic procedure. Don't underestimate the contribution your sermons offer our patients, especially considering the depth and... Uh, necessarily chaotic nature of hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrock of God and family. Not all our poor unfortunates have family to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We all, we are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. Dibner, Dr. Newhouse. Dibner. Dibner. 
I can't believe they took away my sweet sneakers. I used to get so... I hated Jimmy Fallon when he was on SNL. I, I, hate, I hated him. So, and everyone liked him. I hated him. He always ruined every scene. Like... You know, like when they would break, when you would break character and you would laugh, like it's funny sometimes. But like every single one he was in, he ruined. Old Prospector sketch, ruined. Not ruined, no, the sketch isn't, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I, I, I'm being like hyperbolic maybe, but this, this place just housed a battery. Pickle, don't use words like hyperbolic. Get so mad at him. He wasn't that good in SNL. Maybe he's a better talk show host. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I don't. I don't stay up late enough. <laughs> and I don't have television. How else are you going to get up so early that you can eat, like, you know, a pound of pasta and then stream on a Saturday? You can, did I use it? I don't even know if I used it correctly. Truthfully. I'm glad I get to play as a character that has ten fingers. <laughs> you know, it kind of bothered me that the other guy got his fingers chopped off. I, I probably eat, I'm going to say like three to four boxes of Annie's mac and cheese a week. And that's just me. Was that the wall rider? Oh, yeah, it was. Now, if this is how the wall rider wants to be, I'm down for it. Like, if he just wants to be doing his thing, like, not interfering with me, I'm totally cool with that. This would actually be a pretty sweet place to set up. You got your bowl. You got your uh, cassette player, even though it's 2006 or something. You got your mattress on a piece of wood. You got some notes. You got a pen. Jot. Jot some notes. The papers are intersecting. This would be a fine place to live. You got this air vent. The wall rider can come and go as he pleases. There you go. Fireplace poker. Piece of wood with a hook at the end. I've really made this first battery last. I haven't seen Colbert's new show before, or er, new show either. I liked his old show though. Oh, that's the battery. That's that battery. I wanted the fireplace poke. I don't want any more of this guy. No more meat men. Locked. <laughs> this is like really intense scene going on. I'm like, yeah, looking for batteries. I tried to conserve my battery so hard in that last playthrough. Oh, shit. And we ended the playthrough with so many extra batteries. Calm, cool, and collected, Bagel. We got this. Or cool, cool, calm, and collected. First, the fingers. Oh, crap. Ah, crap, I'm dead. Think about... Like, these pursuit segments are difficult because I have no idea where I'm trying to go. This is going terribly for me. Got it. I'm 
fine. Okay, 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 okay. We got this. There was a slim place for me to slip. I died. I tried to read the chat and navigate. <laughs> Windwolves, welcome back. We have crossed the five hour mark in our spooky adventures today. I'm doing pretty good. I still got, I refilled my giant glass of water. Big old idiot. Um. Okay, I messed up. Drink the water. I can't wait to have apple cider. But it's not like cold yet. It's kind of cold, but still like a little warm. You know what I mean? You're an idiot. You're, you're playing this so stupidly. Okay. There's a tiny place for me to slip through, huh? It's usually go through an air vent or... It's, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I didn't see that. My bad. And he can't pursue through that for some reason. Even though the guy is very thin. What are you doing? What do you see? Who Ooh, I took a note! Lisa or whoever finds this, know that Murkoff is making monsters. What do they call that? When you dip their head in the toilet and flush? What's that called? Did that ever really happen to people? Cause I totally wouldn't know. <laughs> I'd never seen the patients after they'd gone through the German so-called therapy. The engine. So much worse than I could have so early... I could have imagined. They may still be human, but something's been ripped out of them and too many other things pushed back in. They were not all murderers. They were sick, but they weren't killers. Murkoff made them monsters. It's called a tornado. <laughs> Dr. Rosette said the engine had varying effects. The variant outcomes too erratic for any sort of prediction. I took it as idle cafeteria small talk. Rawls endless chatter. I should have listened. This guy's story is one of regret. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mostly with sending that email from the company computer on company property through company wireless. <laughs> that was probably the biggest mistake. Oh, Lisa! Should have CC'd Lisa on that email. Are you serious? Are you serious, game? You're being spooky right now? New objective! Find the main valve and shut off the gas to access the airlock. Now, the good thing is, I didn't get a good look at where the airlock is, so I'm going to be super confused trying to find it after I shut off the gas. Two thirty-seven. Bagel, collect the three energy crystals to proceed. <laughs> that guy wasn't much of a threat. Did I, did I take a note or did I just step on something? No, I just stepped on something. That's like how to that's like how to call a nurse. I guess it's to be known that I can hide in these rooms or that room. This room's no good. Stop jumping. What are, you, what are you doing? Oh. Oh! <laughs> like, what? Was this thing in my face? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a crappy shortcut. I guess that's a way to hide from a monster. I don't know. Dinner bells, eh? Is it that same dude? <sighs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> the door shut technique is classic. Oh! Back up. Battery's getting low. You got any batteries in the bathtub? What am I looking for? Like a valve? Like I feel like wherever I am, I'm not I'm not going like toward the room with valves in it. Like I'm in like a hotel. Oh, look at those horses! Oh damn it! That just spooked the hell out of me. I thought Shadow I thought the wall rider was here. That's just the excellent lighting effect. Welcome back, Jacob Murph. Yeah, I hate how cannibalistic the uh the uh that science experiment makes everyone. It really sucks. What happened? It <laughs> did it just play a spooky noise and nothing happened? <laughs> Is that you, Wall Rider? Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider 2012. This guy's 36 years old. He's a male. His name is Frank Antonio Manera. Therapy status. Minimal morphogenic engine activity and only at extreme stages. Five to six levels of hormone therapy. Dream states return repeatedly to images of isolation and betrayal. Zero lucid state. Diagnostics. Heavy bronchial accumulation consistent with patients with histories of tobacco and marijuana. Damn stoner. Especially low REM activity. Interview notes. At the time of this interview, Frank was down to 155 pounds. From his admission weight of 228 pounds. Doug hated liver and onions, dude. But he learned to love it for Patty, but Patty hated it too. She said it jokingly. He was lethargic and largely non-responsive, exhibiting interest only in the hypnotherapy script pattern 9, Vertke, concerning drinking blood from the chest of sleeping. <laughs> classic wall rider. That is a classic wall rider move, drinking blood from men's, men's nipples. I mean, those butterflies do it too, but the wall rider, he patented the old drinking blood from man nipples move. He continues to refuse baths or the attention of a barber outside of general anesthesia, stating, if I cannot partake, I cannot share. Recommend forced nutrition for Mr. Minera if we cannot find something he likes to eat. Oh, is that the guy chasing me who wants to eat me? Lisa! You gotta get me killed! Fuck off! Lisa, look at this! The guy should have a gun on him. You gotta be you gotta look good if you're a ghost though. I can hear a stupid thing. I'm trying to do all this to like activate a, like a valve. Like what? What am I doing? Hey, I'm here. Oh. No, that's not it. Son of a gun. Oh, crap! Oh, he's behind me. I could tell when I saw this hallway, we were getting into a um, pursuit situation, you know? If he doesn't find me, he's an idiot. Like, I am clearly right here. What a, what a straight up dummy. We were a low battery, we got out of it. 
Where am I going? Gas room. Whew. You gonna open? Nope. <laughs> Yeah, why can't we just feed him? Oh, you... Where? Oh, God, I wanted to vault it! I thought... Okay, okay. That's fine. First off, doesn't make sense that he's here. I think. Wait, maybe it does. I guess this is all the same room. What, what the hell am I doing? Where's the gas room? Good call shutting that door. Okay, what the hell am I doing? Find the main valve and shut off the gas to access the airlock. There's an arrow? Oh, you mean on the sign. This gas room. Well, that's not helpful. I mean, it's helpful, but it's not. I wish I could give him chicken tendies. I have no idea what I'm doing. There's no way, like, up. Oh, oh, shit. Like, that door does not open. You're an idiot. Beat him. No, he moved. He moved with me. At least you, like, regen health, kind of. Got fudge. Eagle. What is the find the main valve? What the heck is a main valve? I've never been god damn it, I've never been this confused in the game before. <sighs> Try following the pipes. What pipes? There's pipes? Look closely. What do you- You guys can't just say, like, look. Oh, God. God damn it. I'm trying to- I'm trying to look at the pipes. That'd be nice if I could lead him toward a dead body, Cygnus. I feel like that's not how it works. Okay. Mine! Oh, God damn, where the hell were you? He's in the room with me. Is it in this room? I was trying to look at the pipes. I think I've died more in this game already now than I've died in the last game. Nah, it's not right. Oh, Marty uh, has chewed through headphone cables before, which sucks.
There's another way into the gas room. Hey, Carrie. Can't believe I got around him. Where? <laughs> Wait. Ah, I thought I found an extra door. Well, there's nothing in this room. Follow the arrow. Mm. Follow the stream. <laughs> if you're new. Somehow I've avoided him. No, I haven't. Okay, well, let me elude him first. Is this gas room? Oh, you idiot! I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, you're gonna blow this. Do I have to push the liquid nitrogen? If you're not following the stream, you're doing something wrong. Dude, anyone could make that jump, man! Okay, I cannot push that. That's not anything. Thank you, Carrie. What what the heck am I doing? Oh, come on. It was higher there. Whatever. That's obscure. Whatever. Hey, Fabrock. Welcome to Spooky... <laughs> hey, Fabra. Welcome to Spooky September. I'm Bagel. I play the classics. Woo! I'm really good at Outlast. Woo! I found the valve. Woo! Man, now the thing that sucks is... I have no idea how to get to the prison. Like, hopefully they make it, like, super clear how to get there. Like, it would be cool if I could just go a different way. We played and beat Obscure, and it was fantastic. Bagel, don't oversell the game. People know when you're lying. <laughs> Obscure was a good game. I think he's chasing me. Good. Beautiful! White Day was pretty bad. Like, White Day was, like... It was a good game and a bad game all at the same time. Like, there was stuff White Day did that was great. And then there was also that, like, crappy janitor. Oh. Well, heck, where am I going? This must be right. Yeah, don't talk too bad about it. Oh, wait. Ugh. I'm outside. And instead of being just dark and rainy, now it's dark and foggy. Lisa's gonna love this footage. No, 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 skip through this part. This is the part where I just wander around outside for a half hour. Don't worry about that. Yeah, game, you're not explaining yourself.
What was that? Was that? Oh, hey, a battery. <laughs> was that the wall rider? Silent Hill level fog, yeah. I said we'd play Silent Hill this year, and turns out that was a lie. We might still, I don't know. I want to play it eventually, but I mean, there's always next year, you know? Unless I die. Yeah, I'm gonna be shutting that door, yeah. But I probably won't die. I think I'll be fine. Lying kicks ass. <laughs> I love lying. I don't know what's going on out there. This actually looks like a comfy little room. Yeah, I could be into this room. You wish Outlast was real, so you'd be more scared, Carrie. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, like we were just wandering around in the middle of nowhere. It's like, oh, hey, a battery. Nice. What's this? Well, Bagel, that's a piece of metal. So those phones were beeping, like, from now until, like, whenever the other guy made it here? Prison block. Why would you willingly go to the prison? Shortwave radio be damned. Just leave. What? Climb up the pipe. Climb up that. For a second, I thought he was. Well, wait a minute. Now, what? Now I'm actually confused. What am I doing? You sure I can't climb that? <laughs> oh, sick. Yeah. This is what the game is. He's playing alone and losing. That is what the game is. There is a mathematical proof. If you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on up to infinity, you can arrive at an answer. If you stop shy of infinity, you have an indescribably large number. If you don't continue all the way to infinity, you arrive at 1... 1... 1 12th? Negative... What? Repeating? I'm losing my grip on things. What? I'm thinking about the drive here. 400 miles in a rented truck. The job that shows up just in time to cover our bills, our debts, our insurance. The boys sleeping in the back. Nothing but AM radio. Gospel, country, western, late night, paranoic talk radio. We sing Patsy Klein songs and laugh at conspiracies of aliens and ghosts. Mile marker numbers passing in headlights. I don't want to die here. It's just a little, yeah, peek in that thing. See that guy playing basketball with a head lore. This is the way I came in. What am I doing here? The game... All right, Bagel, think about the... It's a video game. You came in. The game saved when you walked in that door. So you would think whatever you had to do is beyond this door. Can't go through that door. Negative zero is... Yeah, what does that mean? I don't get it. I mean, I understand that it won't be one. It'll be a number less than one. But, like, why one twelfth? I don't... I feel like the DLC has been much more confusing than the than the actual game. Like, what's the point of this room? Watch the other door open. Nah, it doesn't. Yeah, why is there a prison? That's a good part. That's a good point. Zaptar. The DLC, I mean, it's fine. It's more Outlast, and I liked Outlast. Just a little weird. I don't, I am confused about what I'm trying to do. That's not, I never said that. And you use this, and it just makes it worse. 
right, well, I mean, I'm gonna leave. Maybe this opened up. Yeah, I, I just, it dawned on me that sometimes the game makes you go to a dead end to turn around and then something changed behind you, even though that doesn't like make a lot of sense. I didn't like the outdoor part of, um, well, now I am confused. I didn't like the outdoor part of the original game, which we played like two hours ago. <laughs> You know, back when I played the original game a few hours ago, I just felt like the outdoor part, I don't know, didn't really fit. Hey, GP Old Games, thank you for the host. Hi. GP Old Games, were you playing something? Were you just playing something? What? <laughs> Where did he come from? Oh, Lisa, look at this guy. Lisa, look at him. Look at him, Lisa. Yo, Lisa, check out this nozzle. Okay, I have now discovered the correct way to go. Well, they got a lot of wheels over here. Wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't, none of it, stop quoting me. I never said any of those words. Saving. Just walking around my bare ass feet. I used to have a cool pair of like, chucks when we started the game. Now, I, now I'm barefoot. He looks nervous. I would like to kill him. Straight. Straight up nude. Keep the camera high. Don't zoom in. Lisa, you watching this? Okay, it's fine. I like how the game uses nudity to scare you. It's a good, it's a good tactic. Oh no! A weightlifting accident! What an unfortunate accident, that poor guy. Monkey bars! are things I've never said. Can't, can't, oh, uh, uh. It's my bad. That's my bad. I wanted to see how close I could get without him attacking me. <laughs> Apparently, not that close. Here they come. Is there a battery behind you guys? Go near him. That's <laughs> so awkward. Yeah, this is what life's like in a prison, eh? Yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of uh, male dong in this cast today. I see a confidential notebook. My favorite part of the game, the confidential notebooks. Subject regarding patient Samuel. Kurt, we got another one, and I'm not sure we're gonna be able to check it off as the psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Vernke's fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, Never even made it below level one in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of Wall Rider within hearing of a contracted security guard. 
and seems vanishingly improbable that he would stumble onto such an obscure mythological story on his own. It's too similar to the Dr. Sybil case or the others before him. It's one thing for formerly sane medical personnel to fall under the delusions of their patients. It's another thing entirely for those beliefs to be, I don't know, airborne? We need to talk in person. Billings. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good form. Did I just take a note? No. I can't... <laughs> The panicked breathing and the pen writing on paper sounds incredibly similar. No, wait a minute. Pick up the rocket slam! <laughs> Come on and jam. you it's science but it's not this guy looks pretty normal they were waiting for us in this place billy understood billy knew they've always been here do you remember that part of double dare <laughs> when they had a bunch of gunk in between the giant foot toes and you had to search through it for the flag I can turn anything into a double dare reference. Literally, that's that's my secret talent. You seeing that low FPS shadow fighting? <laughs> Isn't there a scene like this in like a Madonna video? <laughs> oh, I showed the feet! I did show the feet! I did show the feet. My memory of Double Dare is impressive, I know! Uh, Chip's just singing the song. I love Double Dare. They get to the end, I, but I it was always that foot one. Or like they had to look through like a giant like sandwich or something and like you could never find the flag and all that mess those were always the words so like if they showed you the nine things and um they didn't have any of the ones where you had to search through muck you knew they had it you knew they had it a couple study carols it's nice give them a little privacy while they're working Giant nose is so hard, yeah. Are you serious? At this point, you're still upset at me? This guy is a major dickhead. Waylon, you couldn't just... You couldn't just keep your mouth shut. You couldn't just play along. I'm talking now. It was unfair, Doc Punches. I hate that guy. That guy is a jerk. That's my blood. Oh, crap. Well, we knew he wasn't going to be able to radio out. We knew something was going to happen. Because the only th person who heard about it was the character in the last game who got the email. I'm just going to hide. Lisa's going to love this part. There's no way he can see me. It's so dark. I hate how he just stand. Does he have like tunnel vision? And when he spun, he saw me.
What about staying in this room, Bagel? Now, this is just unfair. Don't go back in that door. I think I need to go that way. What? How did he get over that? Oh. He locked the door. Oh, is Joy here? Hi, Joy. Oh, God! Crap! I, I, I froze. Because I wanted to see him leap over that thing. He beheaded me right now. Um, I wanted to see him, like, uh, uh, bleh, vault. I wanted to see him vault that table. I thought that'd be sick. And it was pretty impressive. Like, how good? The guy's like a, what? 280? 310? I'm just gonna be a go. Bam! Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, that was that was a bad idea. That was not a smart idea. Hi, Joy. I didn't know he could do that either. I was hoping to get around him. Can I jump through that window? Like no. Like I think it'd be easier if I just. Like, really go at him here. I'm gonna figure this out. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get around this. Hi, Joy. Happy Saturday. How are you doing? How's your new car? Joy got a new car. How's your new car, Joy? Come on. We can cheese this. Come on. I'm the king of cheesing. Maybe you're the king of labyrinths. What? Just go. Don't even try to shut the door. There's something weird with that door. Idiot. This is how it should have been. This is how it was supposed to be, I think. And nailed it. Hole in one. Is it? Exit the administrative block. Is he writing down the whole thing? Oh, yeah! Remember when we were here? Like a few hours ago? <laughs> yeah, I was recording my own beheading. That was pretty sweet. Remember when we saw this? Yeah, you remember. Oh, we're going over here. Hi. Don't be afraid. You're doing his work, whether you know it or not. Is this the priest guy? Yep. We've been here before. Yay! Reusing assets. Woo! Well, I mean, the whole game is reusing assets. It's it's, it's but level design. Oh God. It's not even human anymore. I hope the game with me ends with me seeing myself in the mirror. Or like a puddle. You know? Lisa won't love me anymore. That's gonna be the end. The, the, the last scene in the game. You can't carry any more batteries. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the last scene in the game is gonna be me, me, me going up to Lisa. She's gonna say, oh god, what have you become? I look at myself in the mirror. I'm a monster. And then Porkin shows up. It goes, more yoink! And then the game ends. Am I being chased? Let's assume yes. 
Disorienting, don't do that. The window, you idiot. <laughs> Where do I go? <laughs> Lieutenant Porkins. <laughs> Valkyria Chronicles reference, guys. I assume everyone here was also here for the Valkyria Chronicles playthrough. Yes. Huh? What? Not as foggy over here. <laughs> Ooh, batteries. <laughs> What's my goal? Administrative block. <clears throat> well, I leapt over here, all right. No? Okay. What was that? What game, Ada? What game was... I didn't... I didn't get to read Ada's comment. Why Why am I here? What am I... Well, Bagel, there's nothing here. Just give it up, man. You can't... It's a tiny area. It's right here. Oh, Alien Isolation? I do want to play that at some point, but it's a long game, and I don't think... We might not have enough time to do it this spooky September. Uh, I bet we'll definitely play it next spooky September, though. I'm thinking about trying to save, like, Silent Hill for next spooky September, too. So we can just play through, like, all of them in one spooky September. So we remember the story. Just like how right now I'm trying to play through all the obscure games. The, literally, the title is called Obscure. Obscure, or something like that. Bagel, don't... Feign ignorance on the title of the game Obscure. Um... Kill us, burn the buildings, worse than death here. Kill us, kill us. Oh. <laughs> Lisa's gonna love to read that note. I'm taking that with me. I never, I've never in my life, okay, played the first Silent Hill. So that would be a fresh experience. I have played Silent Hill 2, and that's it. I've only played Silent Hill 2. It's the only Silent Hill I've played. Is this the administrative building? Yeah, that's weird. That is that is wacky content. Good old fashioned Saturday cast here on Bagel Plays Classics. Silent Hill 2 is the best one. Yeah, I lucked out that that's the one I played. And I think as a kid I beat it a couple times too. Oh, he's still going. God damn it. So edgy. <laughs> what did, uh... What did pulling that thing do? My bad. Did I get a note? Oh, Jesus. Somebody who looks as much like a priest as this place looks like an asylum writing instructions on the wall talking about God tells me to not be afraid. No, Zaptar, because I, I have this um fear that I will like have a lack of content for a spooky September because I'm going to play all the games at one point. And then each spooky September will just get progressively worse and worse. That is my fear. It's not that founded, but it makes a little sense. How was I ever a part of this inhuman, bullshit, greed-driven, moral genocide? <laughs> I, can, I, can tell, I, I can picture becoming like a, like a slam poet when he gets out of here. <laughs> Talking about the man. <laughs> the monsters Murkoff ripped from tortured minds to the lengths their jackbooted business school worms will go to protect it. 
their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed in my life, Lisa, but if some small-minded interventionalist god is listening, kill Jeremy Blair before I die. Sanity and avarice. There's no pain he doesn't deserve. There is no radio, no hope of reaching the outside world, only escape. You couldn't fit that on one page. I mean, if you just spaced each paragraph up, you wouldn't have to write on the back of it. The power is still on. Electricity. I need to think, Lisa. I thought the power was evidence that some manageable, some human force still controlled some small part of Mount Massive. But nothing human or sane can do anything here but survive. And even that, not far for long. Oh, <laughs> you're always the reasonable one, Lisa. You would tell me to calm down, to take a larger view. Madness and inhumanity rule this place. Whatever is keeping the electricity flowing is trying to trap me here. I need to shut it down again? You're all just cattle, man. <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> also, buy our DLC. So, wait, do I have to go back down there and flip the switch again? Is that what it's asking me? Truthfully, I'm confused. Don't pay this man any attention. God damn it. It's <laughs> good. That was a good one, game. Use the thing. I was not. Re I should have been on my guard. Why wasn't I on my guard? I should have been ready for that. Okay, I think we've lost him. <sighs> I saw that Smarmadon, but I didn't uh, read the thread talking about it. Oh, Marty. <sighs> okay. Come on up here, big guy. Come on up. You're going to make me pick you up. You're not going to jump. The room is slanted away from the computer. <laughs> did they? <laughs> I, like, what games did they make? Are they big on the headphones? Man, it is echoous in here. He probably got scared when I started yelling. <laughs> Sorry, Marty. <laughs> now that I think about it, Marty probably doesn't like when I just start screaming. Marty is a scumbag. Poor Smino, how dare you? Reload. Yo, we got some content here. Oh, thank you, Jacob Murph. I don't really know what kind of dog this dog is. I think he's like a Papillon. And like a Dachshund or something. Well, obviously this is the right way to go, because there'd be no way out after falling down. That's logic I use a lot in video games. This must be the right way to go, because there's no way to go backward. Bunch of shovelware, okay. I mean, I remember watching a lot of, um, who's that British guy that yells? Not Total Biscuit, like the other one. Anyway, he had a bunch of videos about, like, the shovelware that's on Steam and how, like, Steam should do a better job of not letting people put out games like that. And I guess they should, but, like, it doesn't really bother me. Like, I would never be buying these, like, $2, like, toddler destruction games. I mean, like, I guess, I guess it's, like, after playing this game for six hours today, it's just, like... Okay, you know, okay, yeah, body fell down, okay. It'd be so easy. I don't believe in it anymore. Also, I just noticed when the uh, camera flashes in the bottom right corner. Jim Sterling, yes, thank you. That means I have took a, taken a note. It took me until like halfway through the DLC to learn that. I don't believe in it anymore. Getting the truth out. There is no truth, only lies. We've accepted too long to double back on. It's our children, Lisa. I would take the easy way out if it wasn't for the boys. Damn this place to hell. I'll suffer anything to get out of it. Well, I was gonna just let myself die, but then I thought about the boys, Lisa. 
You were the boys. I have to get out, Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Why'd I ever take that crazy contract job? Had to pay rent. Working for the man. Parkour. Oh, the fall, it scared you. Ah, oh, Fetus. Fetus, what your name is? <laughs> Hi, Fetus boy. Sorry. The, 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 it's, been a, it's been a long and stressful cast for me. Uh, <laughs> Lisa, look at this! Lisa! <laughs> it's been a long cast for me. Uh, I will show the dog in a little bit. Uh, Marty um, gets angry when I pick him up, so I try not to. Oh, hi, Mark. Look at this. Lisa, look at this. It's beautiful. Show dog. Put dog on head. Parkour! Like, like any sane person. Oh, well, okay, I guess he's been through a lot. But, I mean, like, you would not make that jump. Also, that would, like, kill you. Marty's pretty much... Actually, the other dog, yeah, Lucy's the boss. You don't see her much. She keeps to herself. My second dog. We got, oh, we got, do we got ladies? Nope, still men. That we're getting ladies. Even though the game explicitly said there were none. This place is a labyrinth. Lucy is a wiener. It's true. My dog is a wiener. Wait, wait, what are these guys having a conversation about? Focus. Did they ever make a Where's Waldo video game? I feel like it would have translated well. But I mean, you would have to like stare really hard at the screen. So like, maybe that's not healthy. I can hide here. Oh, hey, what? Oh, he's, he's dead. Ooh, ooh, let me write that down. Wise men. Back inside. Like the harder I try to escape, the deeper I get. Dead men aren't a surprise anymore. Suicide seems wide. Wise. Yeah, I'm not... As, as the person controlling the game, I too am not... Fright like, you can only jump scare me so many times, you know? Although I did just fall for a pretty hard jump scare. A battery? No. <laughs> Big. We almost have like max batteries. We ended the last game with like as many batteries as we could hold. I was so frugal about my battery usage. Uh. What? Oh. <laughs> this, this DLC sucks. We're at Force Mono. You say that about like everything. The DL. Oh, battery. 
Nice. Uh, you see that about like every game we play. <laughs> yeah. you, should, you should go to other people's chat and just be like, this game sucks. Regardless of your opinion of the game. Yeah, this game sucks. Patient Dennis. Dear Dr. Ford, this is from uh, Wolfram. I conducted another interview with your patient, Dennis, this afternoon and have to agree with your suspicions. I don't like things. <laughs> I feel like Dead Rising isn't spooky enough. It's more Outlast. Yeah, and I really liked Outlast. I gave it a solid 8.5 out of 12 bagels, if you remember. <laughs> I had wide ex oh, wait. Uh, in the course of 40 minute interview, I had wide exposure to all four of Dennis's expressed personalities. As near as I could tell, two brothers, their father and their grandfather, they seemed primarily concerned with some sort of life-threatening flood, though there was little consistency between this event having already happened or threatening imminent arrival. Well, I mean, that could be as he jumps between the different personalities, Dr. Ford. The clarity of his delusion and performative nature of the personality's expression certainly suggests malingering. I hate malingering. I admittedly fall in the Furstenberg camp of categorical skepticism of dissociative personality disorder, but Dennis's case seems clearly invented by an attention-seeking patient. More likely, symptoms of gross narcissism and obsessive-compulsive disorder continue with shock therapy. <laughs> he has to sign the last page. Sincerely, Dr. Wolfram. Yours in health, Dr. Wolfram. Yeah, we would have had a max battery count for just a moment. But I mean, we're not being inefficient with our battery usage. Let it be known. Bagel has yet to squander a battery. I'm just, like, confused about where I'm trying to go. See how I, <laughs> I'm always, like, compulsively pulling the camera back down. Conserve the battery. What are these guys talking about? And where am I going? Like, how does my guy know where he's headed? That's a dead end. That's a dead end. It's hard to see because it's so dark. Know where I'm going. Up. Up, you fool. <laughs> he, he pulls the camera right back to his face. Uh, down. Well, that was fine. That wasn't too bad. going on there <laughs> notice bagel did not zoom in bagel did not stay longer than he needed to <laughs> we want to have plenty more spooky septembers here on bagel plays the cast the 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 classics <laughs> i am very curious about what that seed was <laughs> also, let it be known, if I wasn't streaming this, I would have definitely taken more time to look at that. That was weird. I think they were, like, creating a lady. God. Oh, Jesus. 
Who's that? Do I know him? No, wait, why does it say... Oh, it was like weird nudity. Um, why does it say press or hold left mouse button to open? Like, it only says that about things... That I can open. It doesn't say that about locked things. It's Agent 40. Who's Mr. Gluskin? That's the guy they were talking about. <laughs> well, I've tried the door three times. What should I do? I don't know. Try it again. Like, can I push this? Oh, Jesus Christ! Yucky. <laughs> I love the I love when the trumpet just starts going nuts. How did he get in here? <laughs> she there he is. Uh, it would be, like, a lot easier if I knew where I was trying to go. Dead end. Now last! Don't go that way. He came from here. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door! I guarantee you I am pressing the left mouse button. <sighs> Love makes a house a home. <laughs> oh, that's that door. Okay. Don't go back that way. I hate when the rooms are like moderately bright or like moderately dark. I should have been faster about this. Okay, I wasn't positioned correctly. The heck am I? I see you. <laughs> Ooh, a battery! It's my lucky day. Am I somewhere new? Like, <laughs> this just looks like the place I've been the whole time. Solid vault. Faster. Wow. Friggin' awful. Go! I'd like to see that idiot do that. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. Nuts. Hey, the top of the elevator. Nice. I'm gonna get off on this floor. A woman's work's never done. I am hobbled. So am I context clue like context clue near the end of the game? There is no place like home. Super weird. Like, the vibe this game got right here, like, really bizarre. 
If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Like very like, I don't know, like Silence of the Lambs or something at the end here. No, I know I'm not safe. We got this, though. Darling. Can't hide from me. You make yourself a gift for me. A delicacy to be unwrapped and unwrapped again. Where's that per where's that person who said that I could hide in these? Here we go. Uh I can't take out the camera. I can kind of look around. I've been a little vulgar. And I want to say I'm sorry. I just... You know how a man gets when he wants to know. But after the ceremony, when I've made an honest woman of you, I promise I'll be a different man. I mean, clearly this is a scripted event. Like, I know I had to get in here. <laughs> I want a family, a legacy, to be the father I never had. I'll never let anything happen to our children. Not like... I have to wait here. You must be just as eager as I am to consummate our love. We we'll try to enjoy <laughs> How many times is this the third time in the game where, where someone's been like, alright, now stay still? Oh, ew. Alright, now don't go anywhere. Twelve hours late <laughs> what if it was like three hundred years later? It's been a lot of time. This is like a really long, like, I screwed up death scene. Darling, I need you to try to bleed less. I know the fair sex often endure the same wounds with more suffering, but you really need to make an No, I'm so super sorry. inappropriate. Love isn't for everybody. <laughs> this seems like wildly inappropriate. I don't know. <laughs> it's a little. It's a little. It's a lot for Bagel Plays the Classics. <laughs> Hold still now, darling. All these unsightly hairs. Oh, silky smooth, like a little girl again. Now the worn, delicate bits. No, no, don't, please. Me! You've given up. You're ugly. You've given up. You're not even worth stringing up. Oh God. Link. Ah! I, I did okay, okay. There is a line between like horror and like you know, right? Like there's there's a like there's a there, like 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 not everything has to be like human centipede. Oh, you God damn it. <laughs> soft skin. You're going to be beautiful. <laughs> Can I do the wiggle mini game again? has to suffer some things. It's not pleasant, I know. But just try to... Look up, Bagel. ...endure. For my sake. For the sake of our children. It won't take long. 
A few snips of the flesh. I, I feel like we violated so many terms of service today. I had no idea. I thought it was like a spooky go through a hallway game. A soft place to welcome my seat. To grow our family. The incision will hurt. And the conception. And birthing is never easy. I'll make the cut fast. Just close your eyes and think I'm going to take that down. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is super bizarre. Get back here. Oh, hey, my camera. Oh, Lisa's gonna love this part. <laughs> Lisa, you'll have no idea what happened. Yep. Oh, I'm out of batteries. Hey that, hey, that Joker stole my batteries. Is this game, like, literally fine for Twitch? It feels super wrong. Like, I feel nervous. Not even in the fact that I think it, my stream would be shut down. I just... This this game just feels, like, very inappropriate now. Like, this, this it's become too much for me. Who's that? Oh, idiot! That's the bad guy. <laughs> hey, who's that guy? Oh, wait, that's that guy! How can he not catch me? Like, I'm so hobbled. Oh, who put that bed in front of the exit? Okay, got the door nice and shut. Vault it. Nice, sick moves. For the best. <laughs> that's super weird. Yeah, that's super weird what is and isn't appropriate. around with the door, man. Saving. The door needs a key. Of course it does. Hey! That sucks. I had such a store of batteries, you know? And they took them all away from me. It's so many batteries. It's like the king of batteries. Oh, like I can't mod nudity into a game? That's not okay? Why would that be okay on stream? <laughs> I... What is, what, what is this? Ooh, let me write a note. Bodies hanging like wet laundry like skinned rabbits. Men mutilated, hunted, and murdered. The shortest distance between any two points separates violence and ruined lust. Oh, come on. It's so pretentious. Whatever story he's telling himself, he's not making women to bear his children. He's making women to kill them. Lisa, I want you to burn this place. Like, Lisa's like, uh, that first paragraph doesn't make a lot of sense, honey. Lisa, I want you to burn this place and any evidence it ever existed to the ground. Destroy the Murkoff Corporation. Bury it in shame. Take away its money. Wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love. He thinks the therapy made him better. Everything reeks of death and fear, piss and coppery blood. Meat decomposing to game. Dual decomposing meat. Twitch doesn't have rules. the same guy like who, who's talking now I 
Oh, no. This is like the last place I want to be. Can you put the key on here? Shimmy. <laughs> I was like, I, once I realized what that room was, I was just like, oh, no. That's no good. <laughs> Wait, you have the camera now. Oh, shit. Well, this was a big fat mistake, buddy. Yeah, I messed up. Okay. Get the key. Go. Go fast. I don't really know which way I'm supposed to go, though. Hatred is banned, yeah. This way. This way, obviously. Oh, game, I don't know which way to go. Oh, come on! He's gonna kill me. Stabbing. Outlast. Okay. Okay, get the key. Like, at this point, I know what I'm doing is correct. And I, I must have to go through that door. Yeah, I have to. Because, I mean, like, what the hell else am I going to do? But I don't know where to go. I'm just going. Speedrun strats. Wait. Oh, dang it. Is this correct? Uh, I don't know where to go. I don't... Where's the wall rider? <laughs> Bring the wall rider back. Remember when this game was about the wall rider and not this creep? <laughs> not this creepo? Okay, like, I don't know where I'm trying to get to. I pushed this guy. Am I supposed to hide? Oh, wait, Bagel, that actually, like, makes sense. You report the stream, you'll have no one to heckle anymore. You won't have old Bagel to push around. Jeez, stand all the way up, why don't you? Okay, I, I did something correct. Yeah, my guy broke his leg. Actually, originally, I think he, um... I think he, um... Uh, fell down an elevator shaft. The window jumping didn't help. I wish I could save. Nothing here. Damn it. Like, I don't know where I'm trying to go. That's like my least favorite part of the game is when I don't know where I'm trying to go to. Additionally, uh, I'm hobbled. Jenna has the appropriate write-up. Like, where the heck is he? Oh, 
Okay. Shutting the door was a mistake. Ooh, a battery. Yo, what? Oh, God damn it. Uh, he's so much faster than me. I can shut the door at least. Like, where am I supposed to go? Oh, crap, I'm back in here. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Yes, there's the air vent. Sweet, don't you Yes! Oh. <sighs> Poor Smano. nothing here. I want so badly to get out of this place. Is this the key? Oh my friggin' god. Yes. No! No more! <laughs> One more. No, no more! <laughs> no more of them. No. We, we know we don't... We know we don't make it out, correct? This is super weird, dude. Heavier than you look. If this is you on the honeymoon, I hate to imagine an Oh, the rafters breaking. God damn it, what are you? What is what is happening right now? Wait, why am I wearing pants? Objection, why am I wearing pants? We could have been beautiful. He really outdid themselves with this DLC. <laughs> I have no idea what I just witnessed there. Like, I don't know what happened there. Where the hell did I get pants? I'm gonna have so many weird dreams tonight. Oh, I didn't see that. I've been avoiding looking down for the past, like, 30 minutes. Oh, that's Silas! And old Jermaine. <laughs> this is uh symbolic you guys let's see uh let's see what we wrote about it a chapel on fire in the distance i didn't even know we had a church where's god when you need him but this that i thought that door said exit Let's just say he's dead. Yeah. What kind of sick fuck would do this to somebody? He even took his damn pants. I'll tell you one thing. I've seen more than enough dick and balls tonight to last me a lifetime. You and me, soldier number three. You and me. Okay. Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military. Contract, PMCs, I detect guns, wars changed, whatever they call them now, they're, all hel they're as helpless as the rest of us, need to get out, escape. I think we've all seen enough dick and balls on tonight's Bagel Plays the Classics. Ooh, battery.
Nano machines. <laughs> yeah, that's what it gives if we killed that guy. I was trying to think who which one which guy was that guy, but yeah. Dear sirs, this is from Helen Granat to the group. The groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress from Rudolf Wernicke from structural and financial systems at Mount Massive. His advanced age should alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among whom he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper. And, oh, legally speaking, he died years ago. Okay, I mean, we knew he, they said he was dead and then he was alive, but I thought maybe they, like, I don't know, he was, he was actually dead. They did drugs and he came back to life as a zombie. Yeah, I get that, I get that. I hope I can see myself from the other cast. I understand patients have already been scheduled for transit. We're all terribly excited at the obvious profit potential of the new project. My researchers have combed through Vernecki's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Vernecki was sufficiently distracted by the... Man, I'm glad we're done with that weird part of the game. Success of patient Billy Hope, along with his own infirmity... To be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. Even minimal exploitation. I just don't want to look at, like, a bunch of penises with a bunch of people on the internet. Is that so weird? Hey, Texas size. Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope new facility is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff so I can see what comes with my own eyes. Respectfully, Helen Granite. How you doing, Texas size? With a bunch of people on the internet keyword in this high bios. Hope you guys are all enjoying this crazy cast. Oh, they need backup in the basement laboratory. Right? That's like uh, the, um, the Wall Rider. God, Wall Rider is such a dumb friggin' name. Maybe it sounds cooler in German. Yeah, Wolf Girl, yeah! I look at myself in the mirror and I was the guy. Well, that doesn't make sense because I would have had to talk to him during this game. We've been here. Am I gonna be one of the praying guys in the room? They bolted that one shut. Oh, wait, where are the print? Wait, I don't know what's going on. Diggle, shut up. Woo. Level triple black security protocols include chemical restraint, physical restraint, and separate adaptive hyperbaric chambers are to be used at all times in transit. Chemical simulation is highly recommended for all personnel within 500 meters of the patient's attempt to communication should be assumed to be hallucina hallucinations and disregarded. Facial disfigurement should not be taken as a sign of lost acuity. They are physically blind but not unseeing. Security clearances for Project Wall Rider will not apply to information regarding patients. Blah, blah, blah. New security clearances will be issued and appropriate protocol assigned. Okay. Do we know who those three patients are? Ooh, hey, toilets. You any batteries in these toilets? Let me use some battery while I look for batteries. No batteries. Oh, yeah, let's go back down here. Oh, wait, this is just the first floor. I thought I was going to the basement. This is the basement. Oh, they boarded it up. Mr. Park. Who's talking to me? How the fuck are you still alive? Let's make a deal. You help me? Who's talking to me? I'll help you. God, I'm stuck with the pig. Oh, oh, this idiot. I just spit a lot. Excuse me. Honestly, what? Why would you trust him? And why haven't I tried to get my own weapon yet? 
Wall Rider, yeah! Yeah, Wall Rider! Wall Rider's such a bro. Never should have sent that email. Oh, Lisa. You're never gonna believe this. Did I just get stabbed in the stomach? I swear to God, if I walk out here and they shoot me. Wall Rider, where are you? Wall Rider, I love you! That means such a good end to the game. Wall Rider, I love you! Oh, he does make it out? Someone's totally gonna shoot me. Go out the side door. The sound designer. What's his name? Laflami? That guy was killing it with that little bird sound effect. Oh, this is the dude's Jeep from the first game. That's somewhat interesting. It'd be cool if this game broke into like a two hour driving simulator. Oh my God, it's Wall Rider. Wait, is that supposed to be me from the first game? Jack this Jeep. The Wall Rider's fast, but he's not as <laughs> fast as a cheap Rubicon. No going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Merkel. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Merkel but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable... Whistleblower! You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's well, can't we, like, hide them first? Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Yes. Left click to upload. I tried to at, let it be known I pressed right click first just to see. Whistleblower. <laughs> this, I, I haven't seen it, but this is the exact same plot of the movie Snowden. Shot for shot. Wow. This was one hell of a cast today, guys. <laughs> this, is, this was a lot. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, Gemini! Oh, man, thanks, Gemini! How are you doing? Gemini, did you catch any of this cast? It got weird. I got scared at one point. Like, there was the normal fear, but then there was the fear of, like... Like, male nudity. Which is a unique fear in a video game. <laughs> I like when the mouse pops up. <laughs> Chibawim Wimmy! <laughs> there he is! There's Chibawim Wimmy! <laughs> this is the same damn credits as last time. This game was actually pretty scoop, uh, spooky the whole way through, yes. This was a great cast. This is a this is a very good cast. I don't know how we're gonna top this one. I'm not gonna play Rust. Too mainstream. No, thank you. <laughs> oh man. Game came out in 2013. <laughs> Neat. It's yes. I think we all have. 
Uh, I would give the DLC, like, I don't know. It's not my cup of tea. I'd give it, like, a 7 out of 10. Like, if I was watching a movie, I don't choose the movie. Like, it's like there's a line between, like, horror and, like, smut horror. And I don't know, I don't mean to be, I don't know what word I'm looking for. I feel like smut isn't the right word. But there's a word for what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, this is scary because it's so fucked up. You know, it's like... Keep the original, I said 8.5 out of 10 for the original game. I don't know what word I'm... Shock horror? No. I don't know what word I'm looking for. Body shock horror. <laughs> Penis shock horror. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get banned. <laughs> no, like, I don't know. Gornography. <laughs> is that the term? That's a great term if it is. Yeah. Yeah. Like the first game was great. I mean, there was we we saw some butts and stuff, but like, you know, they kept it classy. <laughs> Whew! It's a good cast today, guys. I want to thank you all for coming. If you're new, I want you to follow the channel. It's gonna be such a hard shift when we go back to playing. Um, what is it called? Uh, Alone in the Dark Three. <laughs> With that ridiculous music. Um, let me sit behind my spooky desk, which is somehow broken in some way on that side. I don't know how to fix that. Um, let's raid someone. Yeah, like Hostel. I never saw Hostel. I wouldn't want to see Hostel. The ending, the very ending was fun, yes. I liked the, the very end of it. It was nice. Yeah, we're going to play Alone in the Dark 3 next cast. Maybe we'll beat it. I don't think there are, like, a lot of games. I mean, I don't think it's a long game. Uh, Cochise, our friend Cochise, is playing um, Dead Rising. I think we should give Cochise a raid. I don't always get to raid Cochise. And Dead Rising seems like an appropriate place to go after this. So let's give that a go. Yeah, you know, Force Mono, I understand. Thank you guys for coming. If you're new, follow the channel. I will see you on... Tuesday. Go do something. Go outside. Go, go do something nice with your life. No, go watch Coaches and then do something nice with your life. Um, that's it. Love you guys. Wish you the best. Bagel plays this movie games will continue on Tuesday. Please don't report the stream.